All right, I'm going to bring the next group, the first group out this morning. And uh, sometimes singing in front of a half filled uh, church is not very much fun, but you guys can make all the difference. Okay, so be engaged. Um, if you want to clap, if you want to stand and, and raise your hand, I don't think they're going to care. Okay, so I want you to uh, do so at any time throughout the day. These gentlemen, I want to, I said this last night, some of you heard me, but this is probably the most sarcastic group of men that I've been around. The thing that's so cool, most times in a group like this, there is one person that's annoyed by that. They can't hardly stand it and they're offended. I don't think that's the case here. I, they, they all give it. And so I, I'm inspired by that. Um, and yet they, they have let God use them. They're one of the local groups born out of a desire to have good quality a cappella music. And so um, I bless you for that. So one of, yeah, one of our local groups, they didn't travel very far. Would you say three minutes or three miles? Yeah, yep. So make welcome with a warm welcome, Crosswalk. Let the weak say I am strong, let the poor say I am rich, let the blind say I can see, it's what the Lord has done in me. Let the weak say I am strong, let the poor say I am rich, let the blind say what the Lord has done in me. Hosanna, Hosanna, to the Lamb that was slain. Hosanna, Hosanna, Jesus died and rose again. Spirit that I sense this morning um, already from the groups 
uh, as we gather together, it was just one of a desire to worship the Lord together this, today. And so I'm really appreciative of that spirit. And that is our desire is to show what the Lord has done to me. And one thing I'm so thankful for is God's power. And our next song um, is a little bit of a fun one that um, maybe us Mennonite boys have a little bit of difficulty with the rhythm sometimes. But it talks about God being bigger than the problems we face, um, bigger than any situation in our life. God's bigger than that. Yeah. We are soldiers in his army. We're marching every day. Every day. Never do we worry. He'll lead us astray. We are marching on to glory. He's taken us on back. No matter what's before us. God's bigger than that. Yeah. My God is bigger than the mountains or the raging sea. He's bigger than my worries. He's bigger than my dreams. Well, he is the rock of ages. Sweet victory at last. No matter yeah. You may face a raging battle with Satan every day As he constantly reminds you of all your past mistakes And he's got his eye upon you And he's trying to turn you back But he even knows the answer God's bigger than that God is bigger than the mountains or the raging sea. He's bigger than my worries. He's bigger than my dreams. Well, he is the rock of ages. Sweet victory at last. No matter what the problem, God's bigger than that. He's bigger than all of my problems. Bigger than all my fears. God is bigger than any mountain that I can or cannot see. Bigger than all of my questions, bigger than anything, God is bigger than any mountain that I can or cannot see. Well, he is the rock of ages, sweet victory at last, no matter what the problem, God's bigger than Every tear wiped 
I'm a senior member, I can probably say this, but as you get older, some of those songs start to mean a little more than they used to, and you start thinking a little different about life than you used to when you were younger, and it seemed all in front of you. Next song, We Shall Walk Through the Valley in Peace, and I think as, you know, I think Justin talked earlier, as we look at some of the difficulties that are, at least what I find, Part of everybody's walk. Doesn't seem to matter. Difficulties aren't the same for each person, but everybody's got them. So, where do we find our peace? How do we find our focus? Because keeping your focus on God really doesn't change, regardless of what's going on around. We shall walk through the valley in peace. We shall walk through the valley in peace. If Jesus himself shall be our leader, we shall walk through the valley in peace. We shall meet those Christians there. We shall meet those Christians there. If Jesus himself shall be our leader, we shall walk through the valley in peace. We shall walk through the valley of the shadow of death. We shall walk through the valley in peace. Himself be our leader. We shall walk through the valley in peace. There will be no sorrow there. No sorrow there. There will be no sorrow there if Jesus Himself. of the shadow of death walk through the valley in peace if Jesus himself leaders walk through the valley in peace we shall walk through the valley in peace we shall walk through Shut the door. 
it's, uh, it's a spiritual, and it reminds us that we need to be active um, in shutting the door, keeping Satan out of our lives, and um, taking the steps that it takes, the necessary steps that it takes to walk with God. And um, yeah, maybe like I said, it's, it's a bit of a humorous perspective sometimes, but I think it's a deep truth that applies to all of us. Jordan has my mic muted because I'm singing along with him half the time. So, All right, we're going to give one of their CDs away. Just remember, the ticket you had last night is still good today, and so this, this group, this basket keeps filling, so your chances are going down, actually. But 0480. 0480. You have to be present to win, so we're not going to wait too long. If it's not that, we're going to move on to another one. No? Okay. This is close to the same number. 0474. 0474. Right here, right in the front. Very good. See, it did pay to buy a seat, didn't it? Yeah. Well, thank you for that. Uh, just a reminder... These groups all have CDs and recordings back in the back. Please patronize them. Um, none of these groups are making very much money. They're not in for the money. And so it always takes money to operate. And so that always helps. If you're going to buy, if you want to, if you appreciate their music, buy their music. So we'll give you that opportunity. The next group coming on uh, comes from Pennsylvania. Um, I was reading in their bio just a little bit, and you'd have their bio in front of you as well, but I find this interesting as to how groups start. What's the beginnings? Uh, because sometimes it's just 
opportunity the next time. It's, a, it's an effort that they put forth. But from what I understand, this group just simply, for the love of singing, ended up at certain events together, realized they'd like to sing together, and here we are four or five years later, right? Uh, with an opportunity to sing in front of you all, and so we're grateful for that. Why don't you make welcome Singing Servants. See what a morning, gloriously bright, with the dawning of hope in Jerusalem. Folded the grave clothes, tomb filled with light, as the angels announced Christ is risen. See God's salvation plan, wrought in love, born in pain, paid in sacrifice. Fulfilled in Christ the man, for he lives, Christ is risen from the dead. See Mary weeping, where is he laid? As in sorrow she turns from the empty tomb. Here's a voice speaking, calling her name. It's the Master, the Lord, raised to life again. The voice that spans the years, speaking life, stirring hope, bringing peace to us. Will sound till he appears, for he lives, Christ is risen from the dead. Up from the grave he arose, he arose, he arose. Up from the grave he arose, Christ arose, Jesus arose. One with the Father, ancient of days, through the Spirit who clothes faith with certainty. Honor and blessing, glory and praise to the King, crowned with power and authority. And we are raised with Him, death is dead, love is won, Christ has conquered. And we shall reign with Him, for He lives, Christ is risen from the dead. And we shall reign with Him, for He lives, Christ is risen from the dead. Christian soldiers fighting Satan every day. We're standing up for Jesus while we're kneeling down to pray. If his precious blood has cleansed you and washed away your sin, that makes you a member of the blood-washed band. Praise God, I'm a member of the blood-washed band. I've been washed in this washed in the blood of the Lamb. I was bound by chains of sin till one day the master came and made me a member of the blood-washed band. God's children are advancing, marching till we reach the goal, for the battle's almost over, we'll soon be going home. I can hear the sound of angels as the saints go marching in, singing praises to the captain. Praise God, I'm a member of the blood-washed band. I've been washed in the washed in the blood of the Lamb. I was bound by chains of sin till one day the Master came and made me a member of the blood-washed band. Praise God, I'm a member of the blood-washed band. I've been washed in the washed chains of sin till one day the master came and made me a member of the blood washed band. I don't know about you, but if someone does a good deed to you, it's, it feels good and you want to return it or pass it along 
something you weren't expecting. So I think of the life of Christ as he came and lived for us and died for us. You know, if we would have had to live that out, the life that he lived, the calling he had, the difficulty of it, but he did it perfectly. And to think about that, um, does that draw our hearts to him? This next song is called Reason Enough, and it talks about what Christ does for us and has done, and it says that's reason enough for me to believe. shadows dark and low and that's reason enough to believe you have shown me endless mercy oh why I'll never know and that's reason enough to Spill your precious blood, and that's reason enough to believe. Yes, that's reason enough for me. When I took your grace for granted, I was granted convinced me I'm not hopeless anymore and that's reason enough to believe so I won't wait for signs and wonders to teach me how to trust cause you've already proven Lord the depths of your great love you took the cross so willingly and spilled your precious blood and that's reason enough to believe yes that's reason enough for That's reason, that's reason for me. She wasn't on the guest list. She didn't come to lead. She only came to worship at the Savior's feet. Her tears and her perfume were all she had to give. Desperate for forgiveness for the life that she had lived. They said she wasn't worthy. Girls like her were not allowed. She'd found the love of Jesus, and you should see her now. Living in the palace, dining with the king, joining the angels as they sing. Holy is our God, walking with the lion and the lamb, by the tree of life in the promised land. Living in the palace, dining with the king. Lazarus was a beggar living on the street. 
miserable and hungry, rejected and diseased, longing for the crumbs that a rich man threw away, relying on God's mercy to get him through each day. Oh, but Jesus loves the faithful, even when they're down and out. He sent the angels down for Lazarus, and you should see him now. Living in the palace, dining with the king, joining the angels as they sing. Holy is our God, walking with the lion and the lamb, by the tree of life in the promised land. Living in the palace, dining with the king. I found his forgiveness broken on my knees. Now I'm standing on his promises, and one day I will be. Living in the palace, dining with the king. Join the angels as they sing. Holy is our God, walking with the lion by the tree of life in the promised land, living in the palace, dining with the king, living in the palace, dining with the king, living in the palace, dining with the king. enjoy that song. It talks about a couple of people who definitely had it tough in this life. Uh, Lazarus and the woman that was rejected in, in Jesus' day. And the fact that if they chose Jesus, they had an opportunity to experience eternal bliss beyond what they could ever imagine. And I had to think a little bit about the next song that we're going to sing. It's entitled On Zion's Glorious Summit. It's an older hymn that we sing from time to time. It uh, talks about a scene from the book of the Revelation when all of us redeemed will sing before the Lamb of God who is worthy. And we've been enjoying singing this weekend and we've been enjoying listening to singing. Uh, but the scene there before the Lord, as we are there with our perfect voices, is going to be something that will be worth anything we face in this life. Let's look forward to that time as we, um, yeah, anticipate that, standing before the Lord who is worthy. On Zion's glorious summit stood a numerous host by blood, they him their king in strains divine. I heard the song and strove to join. I heard the song and strove to join. Hear all who suffered so. Shout victory now and hail the Lamb, and bow before the great I Am, and bow before the great I Am. While 
Thank you for that, gentlemen. Certainly a few Southern Gospel songs coming out there in that group, and so if you enjoy that, um, you'd recognize some of those songs. We're giving away their CD. I believe they have two of them. And so if you happen, and somebody asked the question here earlier, um, if you win a CD and you happen to already have that CD, can I swap it out for something else? And it, the answer is absolutely. Um, we're not asking you to take CDs home that you already have, but yeah. Switch them out as you, as you want to. 0432. 0432, right here. Very good. You guys make it easy when everybody's here. This next group coming out here, um, like I said, there's always stories behind groups and, and what creates, what makes them um, who they are and, and why they started singing. And, you know, I, I was blessed to be in the early stages of Crosswalk and some of the desire that was there and why they started. Uh, the same is true here. Uh, these ladies have, oh, I think, I don't remember the first time why you even sang. Was it a Christmas event? Yeah, it was a Christmas event. They um, either were asked to sing or volunteered to sing. And, yeah. And so from that, um, kind of was born their desire to be a group and to be, you know, all of them have sung at different events at different times and different groups. Uh, but then throughout that experience, they said, well, let's do more. Well, then the gospel sing happened. And that platform led them to who they are today. And some of that's what the gospel sing does. It's not necessarily what AGS is really designed for, and yet it's there to allow young groups yeah, young groups, to, to have that experience, to be on stage, and to allow God to use them. Um, what's that? Right, right, right. There's not much question. Thank you, Linford. Which was my wife? So there, there is some, uh, I do have some rooting interest here in this group. I hear a lot of background stories, some of the stories you don't want to hear. They don't want to. No, they don't want to. Um, the truth is, there is no other ladies group out there that has the impact and the, the, yeah, just the singing quality, but maybe the impact on us as this group. Um, and part of that's because they feel emotion, and they feel it in a very, very keen way. And so while that goes on among them, you guys don't know that. That emotion and that sometimes rawness with each other has caused them to be really, really real here on stage. And from that, I think God can be glorified. And so I really want to bless you for that, um, to allow God that. And I, it's, for me, I've got to see a different side of, of the female emotion, I think. And this is a part of that's allowed to see that happen. And then see that raw emotion and then be so kind to each other in the next minute. Um, something that sometimes us men don't always understand. True statement. And they are. That they're, they're a living example of what God wants them to be. So make welcome graceful.
saying the phrase, but God is in control. And so it becomes almost just a thing we say. But I, there's a line in that song that says, we will choose to remember and never be shaken. And that challenges me every time I sing it because that's a hard choice sometimes. Thank you, Titus, for the kind words. That was nice, especially the part about young groups. I like that one. Very much. <laughs> Truly, this, this place and this event has been so impactful to us as a group. And many, many have walked with us. You kind of got the emotions gone again with all your words. I don't know if I like that part. But many have walked with us, including our husbands and other groups, especially local groups like Crosswalk, Jordan, Glendon, so many others that we could name that have just walked so well with us and brought us to where we are today. I have had some questions about who we are, so I'll just take a quick minute to tell you that um, our names, I'm kind of messed up because we changed standing <laughs> order already. So Megan Chuck on the end, Sharon Troyer, who is Titus's wife, next to her, and yes, she's my sister, and yes, I'm older, and yes, that doesn't matter after you hit 25, and we are almost there. So I'm just waiting <laughs> until we both hit 25, and then it doesn't matter anymore. And then next is Rosie Yoder, Christina Beachy, and Christina was with us originally, and then left for a couple of years to serve in Belize with her family. Christina came back, and Kristen, who had joined us in those years, went to serve in Jamaica. So I guess this is a great platform for missions. I don't know. Or to prepare for missions, maybe. Donna Yoder is on my right. She's the youngest member of our group. I did get asked last night if you're my sister. That was a nice question. Yeah, I, took I like it. <laughs> yeah. And Sharon's sister. They thought the three of us were sisters. We're not, but we do love having Donna on the team, and we all try to mother her at times. <laughs> And the lady that was speaking's name is Verba Cross. That is my Just name. Just in case yes. you wonder. Thank you. I forget my own name sometimes. <laughs> we chose the name Graceful because we feel like we are specially marked by, divine, by God's divine grace. And without his grace, we couldn't do what we do up here, and we couldn't do what we do from day to day. So that, that name is actually true for all of us but that is the reason that we chose the name Graceful. from Emmanuel's face. 
incredibly special to me ever since we started singing it. At the time we started singing it, we were on an adoption journey. And we were waiting for a very long time. And it was really hard. We wondered, where was that child that God had promised to us? But we said, always we said, God, you are good through it all. And through a failed match, uh, we met our little girl. She was only a day old. And we picked her up in the hospital. And I will never forget that day and how God said, this is the child for you. And um, I was working in your waiting. So if you're in a waiting journey right now, just tell God he's good. Believe he is good because he is. Switching things up a bit. This is our final song. And it's a song called, Will the Circle Be Unbroken? And I know many, many artists have done this throughout the years. This is the graceful version. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by? There's a Thank you, ladies. What you didn't know, there was a whole quartet behind you singing, too, so you can't sing by yourself. We're going to give away their CD. They have several of them. There's not a bad one, so no matter which one you get, they're all good. 0456. 0456. Oh, amazing. Thank you. I was told, I, I don't think that I qualify for this age group, but there's an age group out there with know what T-coil is. Anybody know what that is? T-coil? Yep. Okay, so there are some. There is, apparently there is uh, hearing aids that uh, use a platform called T-coil. And so if you are one of those users and you want to connect, there is T-coil available here in the building in the sanctuary. Um, so if you know anything about it, I don't, but if you know anything about it, um, you can use your phone and connect 
I'm not sure if it's Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, one of the two, but you can use T-Coil and connect, and I'm told it's, it's very helpful for your hearing aid needs. Public? Okay, the name of it's public, so if you search for it, uh, I'm assuming it's in your app, uh, the name of it's public, so make yourself available to that, um, and that's, that'd be a good, a good thing for some of you. There's not much to be said about this group here. Um, I think they've been around so long, there's nothing new to be said about them. That's not quite true. Uh, but one of the groups that has probably mentored many, many groups, Verba mentioned the fact that there's other groups that have mentored them. And I can't help but think this group has mentored a lot of groups coming behind them to replace them. And so we're grateful for that. Um, sometimes, sometimes that part of it gets wearing and gets um, like, okay, somebody else can coach them. But somebody needs to continue coaching and mentoring other people, and I, I can't help but think that they've done that as well. So for the second time this weekend, make welcome Sharon Belfa Quartet. Thank you, Titus. Well, it's great to be here, and thank you for coming again today. And uh, we feel it a a uh, blessing and a privilege to be on stage here again, not because of who we are, but because of who the Lord Jesus is, and we want to sing about him. I sing the mighty power of God that makes the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad, and build the I sing the wisdom that ordained the sun to rule the day. The moon shines full at his command, and all the stars obey. I sing the goodness of the Here's a song that we started singing first right off the bat, and I think we picked it up from the uh, Inspirations group, and, and one that they used to do is called It's Still the Blood, and, and that's just as true today as it was 20-some years ago. It's still the blood that saves from sin. Saying, 
Father, I'll go, I'll pay his sin debt in Calvary's flow. I'll bear in my body the marks of the cross to save that child who is sin sick and lost. And distill the blood that saves from sin is still the blood that cleanses within from the highest star in heaven to the depths of the sea. It is still the blood of Jesus that brings victory to me. There are those who rely on the works that they do and some men count on the times they break through but when the battle's over and my last song is sung i'll go home through the blood of my father's precious son and distill the blood that saves from sin is still the blood that cleanses within from the highest star in heaven to the depths of the sea it is still the blood of jesus that brings victory to me and is still the blood that saves from sin it's still the blood that cleanses within from the highest star in heaven to the depths of the sea. It is still the blood of Jesus that brings victory to me. Amen.
about you, but we've walked through valleys, and I'll bet you have too. That's one of the, I guess, interesting experiences of being a child of God is we have the mountaintop experiences and we do have the valley experiences. And maybe you're walking through one now. We don't know. But with a crowd this size, it's highly possible that you're experiencing a valley. And uh, I, I think back over the last couple of years and how many funerals that we have gone to, and not all COVID related necessarily, but a few. And, um, and those are hard times. And uh, I'm especially keenly aware of an empty seat down front here and uh, of a young man who passed away, a good friend. And um, some of his family is here today. I was here last night. He was just always, always here. And now he's not. And then there's another empty seat. And a um, young lady, too young in our way of thinking, passed away. But the neat thing about this is, in spite of how it causes pain and grief and hurt within, the nice thing about it is the hope that we have in Christ. And that those are valleys that we walk through. And uh, this song expresses something in the last verse that is sometimes hard. So I thank you, Lord, for the valley, for each trial, how you're teaching me your perfect will. So we're going to sing this song without a valley.
actually failed to notice one other person who was missing. A man who I considered my second father, a man who treated me like his son, a man who took an interest in a lot of the things that I did or wanted to do. One of them was this event. And he was at every one of them. His wife is here today. He was a man that was sitting with me when we were going down the road to Ohio, and I shared with him my thoughts about this. And he encouraged me to call somebody. That was the man, he's gone. But I think of the next song that we're going to sing too. I'm gonna to trade my earthly home for a better one, bright and fair. Christ left to prepare a mansion for his children in the air. I'll join him in that land, and that's talking about Christ. But I'm also looking forward to joining some of these others in that land. I'll try to sing this. I'm going to trade my earthly home for a better one, bright and fair. Christ left to prepare a mansion for his children in the air. I'll join him in that land where tears nor sorrows can be found. And I'll receive my mansion, mansion, robe, robe and crown. Lord, I want a brand new mansion, robe and a crown and glory. There I know that peace and love will always abound forever. Let me be among the safe to your throne surround. Lord, please reserve my mansion, mansion, robe and crown. The weather there is always fair. There is sunshine day and night. No cold and no rain will fall there. For the sun shines ever bright I'll need no heavy garments I'll just wrap my robe around When I receive my mansion Mansion robe, robe and crown Lord, I want a brand new mansion Robe and a crown and glory There I know that peace and love Will always abound forever Let me be among the saved your throne surround. Lord, please reserve my mansion, mansion, robe, and crown. My head is bowed and bloody now from the work that I've tried to do, but one day I'll be rewarded with a crown so bright and new. I'll wear a smile so bright, for there'll be no cause for a frown when I receive my mansion, mansion, robe, robe and crown. Lord, I want a brand new mansion, robe and a crown and glory. There I know that peace and love will always abound forever. Let me be among the saved to your throne surround. Lord, please reserve my mansion, mansion, robe, robe and crown. Lord, I want a brand new mansion, robe and a crown and glory. There I know that peace and love will always abound forever. Let me be among the saved to your throne surround. Lord, please reserve my mansion. Mansion, mansion, roll, roll, and crown. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, gentlemen. We're grateful for their presence here this, this week or weekend. We're going to give one of their CDs away. A little older one, 0220. 0220. Anybody out there? No? Okay, we're going to move on. 0257. 
0257. Oh, I'm missing. Hey, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> One had mentioned uh, if you happen to lose something, there is a lost and found collecting back at the information table. Uh, we have a few items there, not of anything significant, but if you lost something, why well, certainly make your way back there, ask at the information booth, and they might be able to help you out. If I have my, my story correctly, there's also a young boy that lost a $20 bill last night, and he was a little devastated. I don't know if he's here today or not, but if you come across a $20 bill that really isn't yours, um, turn it into the information uh, table, and they might be able to, to uh, get that back to them. This group behind me I introduced last night, and I, they're, they're really growing on me really fast. Um, they're a very talented young group, and uh, they don't seem to want to take any honor, which I understand. It's, it is a gift that God has given them, uh, but they're using that gift and that talent for the right purpose, and I want to honor you for that. Um, it is a gift that God's given. Use it and honor and glorify God. Why don't you make welcome Shalom Music. We shall assemble on the mountain, we shall assemble at the throne, with humble hearts into his presence, we bring an offering of song, glory and honor and dominion. song of the redeemed. There is a redeemer, Jesus God's own son, precious lamb of God, Messiah, time and uh, that last song we sang there is a redeemer that's just one of my all-time favorites the message of redemption and the next song we're going to sing says like this he came to live live a perfect life he came to be the living word our light he came to die so we'd be reconciled 
He came to rise, to show his power and might, and that's why we praise him. And there's the word in there that's my favorite is reconciliation. It says reconcile, but the theme of reconciliation is a little different than um, redemption. This idea that God puts things back to rights. And that gets me really excited. And uh, you've noticed, I guess, our, our um, group title is Shalom. And the basic definition of that is peace. And we've always enjoyed singing about peace and bringing peace um, to those listening to us and sharing the message of God's peace. But I think a greater sense of shalom has to do with um, well-being and the fact that God wants to bring us wholeness. And my prayer is that that is what you experience, uh, wholeness in your life uh, in Christ. This is, that's why we praise him. He came to live, to live, live a perfect life. He came to be, to be the living word, our light. He came to die, to die so we'd be reconciled. He came to rise, to, rise, to show his power and might. And that's why we praise him. That's why we sing. That's why we offer him our everything. That's why we bow. Cause he gave his everything, cause he gave his everything. He came to live, to live, live again in us. He came to be, to be our conquering king and friend. He came to heal, to heal and show the lost ones his love. He came to go, to go prepare a place for us and that's why we praise him, that's why we sing, that's why we offer him our everything, that's why we bow down and worship this king, cause he gave his everything, cause he gave his everything.
so glad we can uh, claim that today, that we have someone uh, who can redeem us. But you know what? It's only because of the cross and because he came to die for our sins on the cross. And the next song we're going to sing talks a little bit about that. Um, it talks about how he came and how we're so thankful. And that's our, um, that's our testimony today is that we're so thankful that that Jesus came. The next song we're going to sing is Jesus. Thank you. The mystery of the cross I cannot comprehend. The agonies of Calvary. the fire. 
it's a hymn. Yesterday we sang Blessed Assurance, and we have one more for the last set. Um, and the reason we're practicing hymns is mostly because we're working on a hymns recording. So we're not very far yet. Um, I currently live out of the area, um, but this is a project that we're working on. And this one here is Under His Wings. Under his wings I'm safely abiding, though the night deepens and tempests are wild. Still I can trust him, I know he will keep me. He has redeemed me and I am his child. Under his wings, under his wings, who from his love under his wings my soul shall abide, safely abide forever. Under his wings what refuge in sorrow, how the heart yearningly turns to his breast. Often when earth has no Thank you, gentlemen. Old songs still become some of the most familiar, or the familiar songs when you're leading music of any kind that people can identify with and they still enjoy. We keep going back to that well of old songs and familiar songs, so I appreciate them singing that. We're giving their CD away, 0385, 0385. Anybody? 0385. Get rid of that one. Zero four one nine. Right here. See again. If you buy enough tickets, you you win at some point. Zero. Okay. Thank you. Zero four one nine. This group behind us. Uh, I think I mentioned yesterday that they are a family group, and I we continue to encourage family groups. And so, if you have a family in mind, or if your family sings, let us know. Uh, I think we'd be we'd like to entertain that. I or the idea of bringing more family groups up here. You know, we all celebrate different things uh, throughout life. We all have birthday celebrations. My mom is celebrating her, boy, I better not say. I know how much it is, but I'm not going to tell you. Uh, how many years old she is, but we're celebrating her today as a birthday. But there's a gentleman on stage's birthday today, too. And I want you to stand. You need a little break. We're going to sing happy birthday for Arlen. He's turning 23. Is that right? Yeah, okay. We're going to sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Dear Arlen, happy birthday to you. Thank you. You may be seated. I hope you feel special. All right. I want you to make welcome the Delagrange family. Happy 
got any younger. I had the problem yesterday. I'll probably have it today, too. So I'm going to sit down, keep my legs from going numb on me. Uh, we introduce the next guy. What's the most important thing in life? I ask people that sometimes. What's, what's the most important thing you're going to do today? And uh, they come up with all kinds of things. I tell them what's breathing. If you quit breathing, your day's over with. But uh, this, next, this first song is, Lord, I need you. And uh, where would we be without the Lord? Uh, we do need him. Sometimes when life seems gentle and blessings fly my way, I turn my gaze away from you and soon forget to pray. But when the sky grows darker,
titled We're Going Back, and uh, if there's ever been a time that you need to sing this song, is now, and uh, I think after you hear the song, you understand what I was saying, that <clears throat> there's no Fifty Shades of Grey anymore, there never was, with God it's black and white, either you're in or out, and but we Whatever happened to death do us part, and does the home reflect the heart? Parents' faces tell of worried minds, while children search but can't seem to find. It's time we took a closer look, got back to living by the whole We'll go forward if we'll just go back. We'll know a tree by the fruit we see. Serving God has no in between. We're either cold or we're hot. He said lukewarm will have no part. It's coming down to it or out. There is no time. To go back to living true. We're going back to the absolutes, back to where the church stands strong, back to where there's a right, there is a wrong, back to where it's black or white. You see, the difference is like day and night. We're going back to things above. Going back to our first love. Then we'll rise like a sleeping giant, standing tall in God's strength and might. The power claimed for so long, it's returning and we're being made strong. We're not looking to the right or the To go back to Calvary's cross. We've got to go back to living true. We're going back to the absolutes, back to where the church stands strong, back to where there's a right, there is a wrong, back to where it's black or white. You see the difference is like 
like day and night. We're going back to things above. We're going back to our first love. We've got to go back to living true. To where there's a right, there is a wrong. Back to where it's black or white. You see the differences like day and night. We're going back to things above. We're going back to our first love. We're going back to where the church stands strong. song is probably one of my favorites, um, but in the second verse, it, the words say this, a broken life is all I have to offer, and yet it is a priceless gift to him. The bitter mark of sin will never fade away, but I can come before him unashamed. And so many times I think, I'm one, I'm a person who when I, when I fail somebody or when I mess up, I can really tear myself apart. And I, I know there's probably more of you out there just like me, but it's such a promise to remember that when I do fail, if I come to him as unworthy and humble, and I realize that all I have is a bunch of broken pieces, um, it's priceless to him. And that gift alone of broken pieces is what allows me to stand before him unashamed. And I can rest in that fact, and I can realize that, yes, I failed, but I also repented, I came in repentance, I'm humbled before him, and therefore I can stand unashamed. I just wanna to say too, this is one of my favorite songs, and please sing with us on the chorus if you know it. Um, it means a lot when, if you really like the song, you can't sing along, and you feel like you do, what are people gonna think? Um, and if you feel like you wanna stand, that's fine. Just because you stay seated does not mean you are not redeemed, but um, yeah, just, Follow the spirit and sing with us in the chorus. That'd be great. When I think of all my faults and my failures, when I consider all the times I've let God down. Every time 
It's um, thinking back over the past two years and all the regulations and um, mandates and everything that was so important. And this song talks about that there's no law or government, nothing that can control our God. Nothing and nothing ever will overcome. I had to think along with the last song that when we stand redeemed, God promises nothing can and nothing will overtake us. So if we stand at the cross redeemed, we have power to not fail. Um, but are we accepting the gift that God has for us and standing there redeemed? Every power on earth and in heaven is a shadow in his light. No authority, law, or government challenges his sovereign might. His reign and rule have no boundary. All that is his hand. can, nothing ever will overcome the Lord our God. We are well aware we were orphans once, bent and broken in our shame. Then he sought us out and adopted us. Now we bear his royal Jesus' blood. Nothing ever can, nothing ever will overcome the Lord our God. We are rescued out of darkest night, free from Satan's evil hold. And the kingdom
sit down and some leave and so we appreciate your your continued presence here we're grateful we're going to give one of their cds away 0395 0395 no takers Zero three zero seven. Zero three zero seven. We're going to move on. Zero three seven seven. Right here. Very good. Thank you. You know, uh, a little while ago, I mentioned that there was a young man that lost a twenty dollar bill. Well, that twenty dollar bill. But there is a $20 bill found and, and brought to the uh, information booth. I don't know if that young man is here. I have no idea. This was last night. So if you are or you know who it is, send them to the information uh, table. Um, this group coming up behind us is coming to us from Oklahoma, one of the furthest states away. We do have a group from Texas, and they do travel that's a long, long ways, but I'm going to say this is a long, long ways, too. They, I think, had 11 hours one way. Am I about right? Um, these gentlemen, a lot of them have some connection, family connection, and so um, I always enjoy that as well, to see the connection between them. There's some father-son duos up here, and so if you can figure that out, you're doing better than me because I didn't figure that out. Um, although there's a gray-haired man that could qualify for one of the fathers. But uh, this is their second time on stage this weekend, so I want you to make welcome Message of Hope. Raise them high 
His word is true. We bring the song back to Zion. We bring the praise back to you. We exalt you. next song is entitled, Called Me Higher. This is a song that when I was learning to become familiar with it and looking at the words, it took some uh, extra focus to, to maybe get the message in the song. But as we've started to sing it and learn it, it's, uh, it's taken on a special meaning to me, uh, primarily because of of a change that is, uh, has taken place in our family recently. And uh, I think of the verses in Proverbs 3 where it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct thy paths. My Pennsylvania Dutch Bible says, for that last phrase, it says, Notzelea dich recht fiere then he will lead you right. And this song, I think, talks about that, allowing God to call you higher, allowing God to call us out of our comfort zone, allowing God to stretch us. Um, we have those opportunities in life. Some of them we can sidestep. We can stay normal. We can stay in the regular rhythm of life. It's very comfortable there. Sometimes God wants to draw us out of that. And so listen to the words and the message of this song. I think God wants to call all of us higher as we live for him. I could just sit, I could just sit and wait for all your goodness, hope to feel your presence. I could just stay, I could just stay right where I am and hope to feel you, hope to feel something again. I could just sit, I could just sit and wait for all your goodness, hope to feel your presence. I could just stay, I could just stay right where I am and hope to feel you, hope to feel something again. I could hold on, I could hold on to who I am and never let you change me from the inside. I 
could be saved. I could be safe here in your arms and never leave home. Never let these walls down. You have called me higher. You have called me deeper. And I'll go where you will lead me, Lord. You have called me higher. You have called me deeper. And I'll go where you will lead me, Lord. You lead me, Lord. I will be yours, Lord. I will be yours for all my life, so let your mercy light the path before me. I will be yours, Lord. I will be yours for all my life, so let your mercy light the path before me. You have called me higher. You have called me deeper. Now go where you will lead. soul of mercy Oh, that's true. 
next song we're about to sing is becoming more and more popular nowadays for mixed groups to sing. Um, it's called Living Hope, and we're going to try to present it with a men's group and present it in a way that's enjoyable. But um, I had the privilege of singing under Brandon Mullen here recently under his direction. And Brandon stressed to us singers that it's important to think of where we stand when we sing a song. And in this case, we're standing at the foot of the cross, and we're thanking God for what he's done for us. I don't think there's any combination of words and music that I can think of that goes so well together to describe what
Um, but I felt like God wanted me to share this today. So this past week, I think it was probably about Tuesday morning on the way to work, uh, the check engine light came on in my truck, and probably nothing major, but I hate check engine lights, and so I like to get it fixed, and so I knew there was something wrong with the truck that I needed to um, get fixed sometime in the near future, and um, didn't think that much about it. I was going to deal with it later, but then um, yet that afternoon, my wife calls me. She's trying to mow the yard, and hey, the mower, she made one loop around the yard, and it's not working properly, and <clears throat> so I got home from work, looked at it, and looks like the head gasket's blown on the mower that we just bought. Okay, so I was feeling pretty depressed and uh, discouraged about it, but what do you do? Um, and then the very next day, which was Wednesday, the day before we traveled out here, she was in town with the SUV that we had bought recently and we were gonna bring on this trip. It says, hey, the check engine light comes on, the thing's not running right, it's, she can just hardly keep it up at 40 miles an hour. I, I threw my head back, I was just, I was discouraged at this point and told her to take it to O'Reilly and they checked it out. And yeah, the uh, couple hundred dollar alternator is bad on it. And I said, okay, pick one up, I'll try to change it tonight. Well, I did some research, and it was a lot bigger job than I had time to do on that vehicle. So we had to change gears and put new tires on our old car to come, and I was, I was pretty discouraged. Why does everything have to happen at the same time? And as I was trying to go to sleep Wednesday night, I, I think I actually, in my prayer I asked God, why, why is this happening? Well, it wasn't long, and I think I had the answer. He made it clear to me that I was putting my focus on my life, my things, um, my performance. Uh, just, yeah, instead of keeping my, my focus on Jesus Christ, our living hope. And that's, that's what we're here to do. And when these little things um, irritate us, it shouldn't let us get it down like it did. So hopefully that can be an encouragement to some. God has given us a heritage of faith, blessed us with the word of God passed down to us. The torch of faith is now yours and mine to hold high, standing for the truth and doing what is right. Torch of faithfulness, spirit burn brightly upon us. Drive away the darkness, showing us the right. Torch of faithfulness, leading others to the Savior. Faithful long as I am able, holding forth the light. The torch was lit when the spirit came. Those who felt its fire were never the same. Beaten and in prison, some gave out their lives. But always for the faith, the torch they held high. Torch of faithfulness, spirit burn brightly upon us. Drive away the darkness, showing us the right. Torch of faithfulness, leading others to the Savior. Faithful long as I am able, holding forth the light. The torch will be passed when I am gone. Those who come behind will have to carry on. Will the light be bright as when it came to me? Will my children hold it high so others can see? Torch of faithfulness, spirit burn brightly upon us. Drive away the darkness, showing us the right. Torch of faithfulness, leading others to the Savior. Faithful long as I am able, holding forth the light. Faithful long as I am able, holding forth the light. We have one more song here, and uh, uh, we were talking about introductions back then. Um, maybe just to keep you curious, we'll wait for introductions to the next 
standing uh, because I think we're about out of time here. But we'll go ahead and we'll sing one more song. We have this hope. Our hope is in Jesus Christ. Um, we sang about all these things in life, uh, passing on the faith, just this last song, to the next generation. And are we doing our job in passing it on? And um, we, we have our hope in Jesus Christ. And we'll keep that with you. Appreciate your input here. As you notice, we are running behind schedule a little bit, but don't get too bothered by it. We're gonna, there's a time here that we'll get caught up, so. 0490, 0490. Right here, good to have a winner. It's good. This group that uh, we're bringing out next, you know, when, they, when I first was introduced to this, this name, I was like, whoa, who is that? And I discovered they went way back, much longer than, back further than I knew. Um, and so they're not an old group, but what I find really unique about this group is they sang years ago, and about, uh, they could help me understand this, but roughly 20 years later, picked it up again, and almost like they didn't skip a beat. And you know, there's, there's relationships that you have, and I think you all know who you are. There's relationships that you have from the past that you haven't seen each other or spoken for a long time. And I can think of a few in my life. And then all of a sudden, you know, you see each other 10 years later and you pick it up and you're with each other for two hours and you didn't, you didn't hardly miss that 10 years. You know what I'm talking about? That's what I see when I see this group, particularly when it comes to music, and most of them is because they're musically, very musically talented. Uh, but I find that really inspiring that their relationship from, I said 20 years ago, I don't know how long ago it was, all of a sudden revived again and that spark and they're best friends just like that again. So they are known as the a cappella harmony, but better known as AHQ. Make them welcome.
Children keep in the middle of the road. Children keep in the middle of the road. Go to the right, to the, right. Go to the, to the left. Just keep in the middle of the road. In the middle of the road. Children keep in the middle of the road. Children keep in the middle of the road. To the right, to the left. Just keep in the middle of the road. In the middle of the road.
baritone is David Crayville. He hails from Oregon. Uh, next to him is our bass singer, Conrad Crayville. He's also from Oregon. Uh, next to him is the hometown hero, Tom Troyer, Troyer from right here in Goshen, Indiana. And my name is Byron Smucker. I live in Hamilton, Ohio. Uh, there are some things in life that just go together, right? Um, America and July 4th, uh, Orville Wright and airplanes. Uh, some may dispute this, but uh, hot dogs and ketchup. Um, you know, Tom Troyer and quartets. Most of us don't sing with any quartets, he sings with two. Um, there's many things like that, um, but for Christianity, there's something like that too. Christianity and resurrection go together. Um, Paul tells us that if we only have hope in this life without resurrection, we are miserable. And if you are a person like me that sometimes wonders, is, is this really all true. Uh, you can rest your feet, your heart, solidly on the fact, the historical reality that Jesus rose from the dead, and because of that, we have hope that we will rise someday, too. So it's no uh, mistake that, sort of without thinking about it, we're going to sing two songs in this set having to do with the resurrection of Jesus. And so this first one is about putting yourself in the place of his followers and uh, uh, feeling some of their emotions and how they might have felt in that time before, after he died and before he rose again. This is called Then Came the Morning. Just lost their dearest friend. All that he said, now he was dead. So this is the way it would end. The dreams they had dreamed were not what they seemed. Now that he was dead and gone, the garden, the jail. Yeah. 
the flowers and fade like the withering grass. But life seems so long and death so complete, and the grave an impossible portion to cheat. Oh. But there's one who has been there and still lives to tell. And the grave will come up empty-handed that day. Jesus will come and steal us away. Where is the sting? Tell me, where is the bite? When the grave robber comes like a thief in the night. Oh, where is the victory? Where is the prize? When the grave robber comes and death finally dies. Many still mourn, many still weep for those that they love who have fallen asleep. But we have this hope, though our hearts may still end. Just one shout from above, and they all will awake. And in the reunion of joy we will see, death will be swallowed in sweet victory. Where is the sting? Tell me, where is the bite? When the grave will come a song those asleep will be awakened not a one will be forsaken he shall wipe away all tears he will steal away all fears there will be no sad tomorrow there will be no pain and sorrow where is the sting tell me where is the bite when the grave robber comes Thank you, gentlemen. That was, a tr again, I say it pretty often, but that was a special treat. You know, often we're in our uh, circles when it comes to um, a cappella music or southern gospel music, whatever it is, you tend to feature the bass, but my goodness, did you hear Byron? First tenor was amazing. We're going to give their CD away. Um, they have a recent CD that a lot of us have not seen yet. So um, although it's two years old, but because of COVID, it's the first that we're seeing it. But 0261, 0261. No takers? 
0400. You guys are quiet. 0202. 0202. Scott, you don't have to leave just because I'm not calling your number. <laughs> okay, oh, your IQ. Well, I think it's better than that. 0347. 0347. We'll try again. Everybody's to lunch right now. 0342. All right, I got to do something different. Zero three one one, right here. Thank you, thank you. This group uh, here, um, oh, I don't know. It's been probably what three years ago that you contacted us, probably, and uh, requested an opportunity. And boy, have we been treated. Uh, we're grateful for their presence here. Um, I don't know how many of you know that we're. We're spending some time praying with these groups behind st uh, stage, so every time they come out, they've had a fresh dose of prayer. And these guys prayed a long time. And so I think that you're in for a real, real treat. I think God has uh, had his hand on, on their lives. So I want you to make welcome all the way from Dallas, Texas, His Harmony. Jesus is the cornerstone of the great foundation that we are a part of. Everyone that is a Christian is a, is a something being built up to God. But only if he's part of the same foundation Jesus is. And Jesus is that great cornerstone. This, the title for this song, Cornerstone. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but only trust in Jesus' name. 
My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but only trust in Jesus' name. When darkness seems to hide his face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. Christ alone, cornerstone, weak made strong in the same. sound. Oh, may I then in him be found, dressed in his righteousness alone, faultless stand before the throne, faultless stand before the throne, Christ alone, cornerstone, weak made strong in the same thank God for every day is to be able to put my feet on the ground and thank God for another day because it's because of that it's because he gave me life that I have chosen to serve him the rest of my life because he is a holy God. I want you to listen to the words of this song. Because it will touch you just like it touches me as we sing about this wonderful holy God. commands all the hosts of heaven who else could make every king bow down who else could whisper and darkness tremble only a holy God what other beauty demands such praises what other splendor shines the sun. What other majesty rules with justice? Only a holy God. Come and behold him, the one and the only. Cry out, sing Bye. 
else would offer his only son? Who else invites me to call him father? Only a holy God. Come and behold him, the one and the only. Cry out, sing holy, forever a holy God. Come and worship the holy God. Come. message so plain that when those who are running may read it. With that indelible pen, Jesus has written for all time, your sins can be forgiven through what I have done, through his precious blood. I'm going to heaven. That is written in red. In letters of crimson, God wrote his love on a hill. I'm mm -hmm. 
were back in the prayer room and uh, we happened to hear this song right before we're here. So you're going to hear a second edition of this beautiful song. Uh, maybe one of the best songs Bill Gaither's ever written, which is saying a lot. But uh, we recorded this song after about three years of working on this. My dad said, son, we can never make that work as an a cappella song. Well, three years later, we proved him wrong. And a uh, beautiful song. In fact, a friend of ours made a video with this song, and it now has 11,000 views on YouTube, which is amazing to me. But a beautiful song, then came the morning. to hear you sing. 
And this song talks about Paul and Silas, about how they were in the innermost prison. And around midnight, Scripture records for us that they were singing and praying. These two men that were in a desperate time of their life in prison were singing praises to God. You know, I think that that's truly when God wants to hear us sing. Is when we're in that low part of our life. When we're in the valley. You know, when we're in the valley and we can still lift our voices in praise to Him. That's when He truly knows that our heart belongs to Him. God wants to hear you sing. That's when God wants to hear you sing. The chains were fastened tight down at the jail that night. Still Paul and Silas would not be dismayed. They said it's time to lift our voice, sing praises to the Lord. Let's prove that we will trust him come what may. God wants to hear you sing when the waves are crashing round you, when the fiery darts surround you, when despair is all you see. God wants to hear your voice when the wisest man has spoken. And says your circumstance is as hopeless as can be. That's when God wants to hear you sing. He loves to hear our praise on a cheerful days when the pleasant times outweigh the bad by far. But when the suffering comes along, and we still sing him songs. That is when we bless the Father's heart. God wants to hear you sing when the waves are crashing round you, when the fiery darts surround you, when despair is all you see. God wants to hear your voice when the wisest man has spoken. And says your circumstance is as hopeless as can be. That's when God wants to hear you sing. Wants to hear you sing. When the waves are crashing round you. When the fiery darts surround you. When despair is all you see. God wants to hear your voice. When the wisest man has spoken and says your circumstance is as hopeless as can be, that's when God wants to hear you sing. That's when God wants to hear. One of the great things that we've enjoyed the last couple of days, nights, they've all started to run together, but we've really enjoyed, enjoyed meeting with people, talking to them, learning about, about everything that you live with around here, and, and us being, getting to tell you about Texas, because we like to do that. And uh, so I just thought, real quick, I'm going to introduce the guys to you, just so you'll know our names, because we think that's a great idea, whoever started that today. today. Down on the far end is Lanny Reed, Steve McClellan, Joe Chase, what's your name? Aubrey Oody, Aubrey Oody, and Dave Evans. So we're- And really, Bruce Patterson. Oh yeah, and me, Bruce Patterson. So this last song we're gonna sing for this set is called, I Want To Know. I 
want to know. I want to know that he will welcome me there. I do not want. I do not want to be denied. Well, let me live. Let me live in that city so fair and that's enough. That's enough for me to know. I want to know. I want to know that he will welcome me there. I do not. I do not want to be denied. Well, let me live. Let me live in that city so fair and vast enough. That's enough for me to know. I do not know, do, 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 know the day my Savior do, will do, come. Do, but I will be do, 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 prepared to go. Do, 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 and if from above I know he will well, that's enough. That's enough for me to know. I want to know. I want to know that he will welcome me there. I do not want. I do not want to be denied. Well, let me live. Let me live in that city so fair and that's enough. That's enough for me to know. I want to know, know, know that he will welcome me there. I do not want, want, want to be denied. Let me live in that city so fair and that's enough. That's enough for me. Oh, that's enough. That's enough for me. Oh, that's enough. That's enough for me. Me to know. That's enough for me. Oh, that's enough. That's enough for me. Oh, that's enough. That's enough for me. Me to know. CDs away. 0439. 0439. Anybody holding that number? Right there. Don't forget to go pick up your CD at the table back there. All right, we're going to be, we're, we're running a little behind, but we're in a TBA slot here, sort of. Anchor Quartet, uh, the fellow that had the voice problem, is not going to be able to do this slot again. And so to keep praying for them, they, they're desperately going to want to do the last one at uh, 6 o'clock. And we are really hoping they can do it. They made that trip out here. Anchor Quartet is not a new one. It is new for, gospel, for the gospel sing here, but they're not a new quartet. And so uh, we hope they get to sing. I'm going to let Byron introduce this group right here. All right. Isn't this a good-looking bunch of young folks right here? Your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, uh, when the Acapella Harmony Quartet began in 1995, we didn't have any children. We actually were children in 1995. But now we have many children, and we are so grateful for them. And uh, here is, uh, I guess, a few of them. And they would like to sing a song for you called Amazing Grace.
I don't know if we can follow that up. <laughs> this song is a uh, kind of a, a rewrite or a rewording, if you will, uh, a different way of writing uh, Psalm 100. Um, so it talks about how everyone should praise the Lord, and we really, especially everyone who's a Christian, has reason to praise the Lord. So we hope you're blessed by this song, and we're hope, we hope you're inspired to praise God uh, along with us. Praise Father, Son. so much. That was wonderful. Ushers, if you ushers, if you're ready for the offering, let's let's do that. Why don't you come on down? They don't have a CD to give away, so we're not going to do that. Um, come on down and um, we'll have prayer. We'll do the offering. In fact, let's just go ahead and stand. You guys need to get up. You've been sitting a long time and then we're going to do one verse of song. All the offerings being taken. Let's pray. God, I thank you for this time. Thank you for your faithfulness. I pray your blessing on the offering right now, God. I pray you would bless both the gift and the giver. And I pray that together we might honor you in our giving and that uh, somehow or other it would, it would come back and 
and bring honor and glory to your name. In Jesus' name, amen. My Jesus, I love thee, I know thou art mine for thee. All the follies of sin I resign, my gracious Redeemer, my Savior. One more time, all the way from Canada, would you make welcome chords of praise? You may be seated, by the way. <laughs> Sin has separated man's communion with God, longing for Messiah to come. But in just one evening, things were changed forevermore with the announcement from angels above. Christ is Christ born. Christ is born. Let all the world proclaim. Christ is born. Christ is born. Things will never be the same. God is God here. is here to bring peace to everyone. Joy is here and lives on. For Christ is born. For a king to be born, but born in gold, power, and might. He was poor in his surroundings, but rich in majesty. Follow the star and you will see. Christ is Christ born. Is born. Let all the world proclaim. Christ is Christ born. Is Joy is here and lives on, for Christ is born. Christ is born. Christ is born. Let all the world proclaim. Christ is born. Christ is born. Things will never be the same. God is here. God is here to bring peace to everyone. Joy is here and lives on, for Christ is born. God is God here. is here to bring peace to everyone. Joy is here and lives on for Christ is born. Hallelujah, Christ is born. Praise God, Christ came to this earth for us. Christ is born, not just from our Christmas album that we recorded this, uh, this past year, um, but Christ is born, and that is the beginning of the gospel story. And then our next song here is, Worthy is the Lamb. Christ was born to be that worthy lamb, to be the sacrifice that God required to redeem us to himself. Worthy is the Lamb. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the price you paid. Bearing all my sin and shame, in love you came and gave amazing grace. Thank you for the love, Lord. Thank you for your nail pierced hands. Wash me in your cleansing flow. Now all I know, your forgiveness and embrace. Worthy is the Lamb, seated on the throne. Crown you now with many crowns, you reign victorious.
Bearing all my sin and shame, in love you came and gave amazing grace. Thank you for the love, Lord. Thank you for the nail-pierced hands. Wash me in your cleansing flow. Now all I know, your forgiveness and embrace. from the burning bush and it's uh it's, it's kind of around the bible story of moses and the burning bush and then it incorporates some some of the uh salvation in there as well this song was inspired um by my uncles i guess my dad and his brothers would sing together and uh, they would sing this song it was in the, the hymn book they used a mull's song book i've never seen them before and i've never seen them since but there's Mull's song books out there somewhere, and that's what they used. And this song was in there, and they sang it every year at Christmas gatherings and so on. And uh, a couple of events they were at in their younger years. So, Echoes from the Burning Bush, inspired by my uncles. Moses stood on holy ground, fire from God descended down, set the roadside bush on fire. Then the Lord did there explain, through his servant should remain, all the echoes from the bush on fire. I can hear those lovely echoes from the burning bush. How they thrill my soul. How they thrill my soul. I can hear those thrilling echoes from Burning bush. Point me to the goal. Point me to the goal. I no more am doubting, but with joy I'm shouting. With no thought of shame to blush, of shame to blush. This my song shall ever be. Words that are so sweet to me echoes from the burning bush. The burning bush. Oh, the God of saints of all, just the same. So we. Spoke this message from the fire. Each and every tribe on earth could receive a great new birth. Hear the echoes from the bush on fire, the bush on fire. I can hear those lovely echoes from the burning bush. How they thrill my soul. How they thrill my soul. I can hear those thrilling echoes from the burning bush. Shouting with no thought of shame to blush, of shame to blush. This my song shall ever be. Words that are so sweet to me echoes from the burning bush, the burning bush. God sent down his only son just to ransom everyone by the echoes from the fire. That the God of every earthly land would not pick nor choose a man. For his blood will save us from the fire, the eternal fire. Oh, I can hear those the lovely echoes. echoes from the burning bush. How they thrill my soul. How they thrill my soul. I can hear those thrilling echoes. echoes from the burning bush. Point me to the goal. Point me to the goal. I no more am doubting. But with joy I'm 
shouting with no thought of shame to blush of shame to blush this my song shall ever be words that are so sweet to me echoes from the burning bush the burning bush i'm not sure if every singer is like i am but often when i'm part of a program most songs, there's a testimony that goes to my mind. I love to talk after, so I'm going to try and keep it short. But this next song has been a song that's been very special to me for the last four or five years. Uh, it's a quite familiar contemporary song, Trust in You, Letting Go of Every Single Thing. I lay a string down on your feet, it's a thought of the song. And in the clincher of it, I will trust. We're giving everything to Jesus. And the last four or five years, there's, there's God has brought things to my life. I've, I've had to lay down things. Things that I thought I had, I had ducks in a row and, and scattered at the last minute. And I had to come back to God is yours and, and just take it. And two years ago, um, I lost my mom. She was a pillar in my life. She used to sit down here, she's not there. And after that, I, I felt this pressure. Letting go of every single dream, I lay each one down at your feet. Every moment of my wandering never changes what you see. I've tried to win this war, I confess. My hands are weary, I need your Oh, 
what the waters I wish I could walk through When you don't give the answers as I cry out to you I will trust, I will trust, I will trust in you I will trust in you You are my strength and comfort You are my steady hand You are my firm foundation The rock on which I stand Your ways are always higher Your plans are always good There's not a place where I go You've not already stood When you don't move the mountains I'm needing you to mow When you don't part the waters I wish I could walk through When you don't give the answers As I cry out to you I will trust, I will trust I will trust in you There's a promised land untouched by men, prepared for the saved and the blessed. A city built for square, far away somewhere, as a home for the saints to rest. So many have tried, but they couldn't describe all the beauties on that bright shore. For it's never entered into the hearts of men what the Father has in store. I could sing about heaven for a million years and never get the story told. Of the jasper walls and the gates of pearl And the streets made of pure gold Even John the Revelator in the heavenly vision Could never really say what he saw I could sing about heaven for a million years And still I could never tell it all From the throne there springs a glimmering stream Of waters pure and sweet and it flows by the tree of life on its way to the crystal sea. And the precious stones of the walls rest on are of twelve different kinds. And the night will cease for the Prince of Peace is the light that forever shines. I could sing about heaven for a million years and never get the story told. Of the jasper walls and the gates of pearl and the streets made of pure gold. Even John the Revelator in the heavenly vision Could never really say what he saw I could sing about heaven for a million years And still I could never tell it all I could sing about heaven for a million years And never get the story told Of the jasper walls and the gates of pearl And the streets made of pure gold Even John the Revelator in the heavenly vision Could never really say what he saw I could sing about heaven for a million years and still I could never tell it all. John the Revelator in the heavenly vision could 
could never really say what he saw. I could say about heaven for a million years and still I could never tell it. so much for coming and being a part of 2022 AGS, Chords of Praise from Canada. I'm going to give one of their CDs away here real quickly. Last four numbers, 0325. 0325. Up high, down low. I'll try another one. Zero three seven three zero three seven three. Okay. Zero five three one zero five three one. Too many people decided to go do something else. It's too wet to golf, so what are they doing? 0414. There we go. 0414. Go back there and get a free CD of Chords of Praise. We have that one. I'll take care of these. All right. Well, I guess this would be your last time up today. I'm sorry about that. I would have loved to just hear you a half a dozen more times, but I'll get over it <laughs> somehow or other. Anyway, from right here locally in the Goshen area, would you make welcome this group of ladies called Graceful? Thank you, thank you so much. We're gonna start this set with a song as a prayer over the rest of this day and over the, this set. And this song is called God of All Nations. And some of the words in it are, we come together at your feet, equal in your sight, made one by your might. We come together at, oh, I'm getting the words mixed up. It's in the bonds of love we meet. We come together at your feet, equal in your sight, made one by your might. You've called us to restore your lands and place them back within your hands. So tonight, be glorified.
heaven, and like the song says, in the middle of the night, he does. Um, and I know it seems like sometimes there's a lot of, a lot of voices that we hear. Um, some of them are truth, some of them are lies. Um, but I love how the one line says, there's nothing louder than the song of my father. And um, I love, yeah, just remembering that, that when you're hearing all of those things, just remember, listen for the song of your father that's singing over you. Next is the hymn, Be Still My Soul. Yeah. 
shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leads, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Be still, my soul. stormy banks I stand and cast a wishful eye to Canaan's fair and happy land where my possessions lie. I am bound for the promised land. I am bound for the promised land. Oh, who will come and go with me? I am bound for the promised land. Promised land. Trod. With this crystal tide forever flowing down the throne of God. Yes, we'll gather at the river, the beautiful, beautiful river. Gather with the saints at the river that flows from the throne of God. Throne of
at AGS 2022. By request, again, the song Jerusalem. And yes, Dave, you might want to step inside. <laughs> <laughs> Several people have commented on how meaningful this song is to them. And we just want to sing it in honor and in memory of all those who have gone before, all those who are walking those streets of gold in the new Jerusalem. John saw a city that could not be hid. John saw a city, oh yes he did. John caught a glimpse of golden throne. Tell me all about it, go right on. Around the throne he saw the crystal sea. There's got to be more, what will it be?
Thank you very much for closing out on that song. That's wonderful. Really enjoy that a lot. We're going to give one of their CDs away now. By the way, I, I think I pulled a fast one on somebody the last time we gave one away. <clears throat> and I apologize for that. I think, as I understand it, the person was on their way to come up here to get it, and they didn't understand that you go back to the welcome desk to get your CD if you won. And about that time, I called out another number, and somebody jumped up and took that one. So if you're in here, if you're that person, please go back to the welcome desk, and uh, we have arranged for you to get more than you deserve. I mean, more for, for the mistake. That didn't come out quite right either. But uh, God bless you for being here. So yeah, if you're that person, and I don't know who it was, but go back there to the welcome desk if you haven't already, and, and make sure they take care of you there because we have arranged something for you. Number 0383, 0383, right down there. All right, you go get your CD back there. Well, one more time, it gives me a great deal of pleasure to bring to you Acapella Harmony Quartet, and um, known as AHQ, or just the guys, or whatever. So would you make welcome Acapella Harmony? I'm gonna tell you about the coming of the judgment. Fare thee well, fare thee well. I'm gonna tell you about the coming of the judgment. Fare thee well, fare thee well. There's a better day a coming. Fare thee well, fare thee well. There's a better day a coming. Fare thee well, fare thee well. In that great a getting up morning. Fare thee well, fare thee well. In that great a getting up morning. Fare thee well, fare thee well. The lightning flashing, fare thee well, fare thee well. When do you hear the thunder crashing, fare thee well, fare thee well. When do you see the stars are falling, fare thee well, fare thee well. When do you hear the chariots calling, fare thee well, fare thee well. In that great, I get no morning, fare thee well, fare thee well. In that great, I get no morning, fare thee well, fare thee well. When you hear the thunder crashing, when you see the stars are falling, when you hear the chariots calling, the good news, good news, the chariots coming, good news, good news, the chariots coming, so glad, so glad the chariots coming, and I don't want to be left out. There's a long white robe in the heaven, I know. Long white robe in the heaven, I know. Long white robe in the heaven, I know. I said good news, good news, the chariots coming, so glad, good news, the chariots coming, so glad. And the chair is coming and I don't want to be left out In that great, I get in the morning fairly well, fairly well In that great, I get in the morning fairly well, fairly well In that great, I get in the morning fairly well, fairly well In that great, I get in the morning fairly well, fairly well, fairly well Gonna 
lift its branches. I lift my hands to glorify His holy name. Everybody sing praises. Praises. As long as I'm alive, I'll glorify His holy name.
Sing of his goodness, sing of his goodness, sing of his wonderful love. Oh, 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 oh sing a new song, sing of his goodness, sing of his faithfulness. Don't you swing, swing down cherry stop and let me ride swing, swing down cherry stop and let, let me ride rock me lord rock me lord calm, calm and easy i've got a home, home on the other side Don't you swing, swing down cherry stop and let me ride swing, swing down cherry stop and let, let me ride rock me lord rock me lord calm, I looked over Jordan, what did I see? A sweet swing down chariot coming for me. I've got a home on the other side. Why don't you swing down chariot stop and let me ride? Swing down chariot stop and let me ride. Rock me, Lord, rock me, Lord. Side by side, and this old chariot's gonna let me ride one of these mornings, bright and early. I'm going home to the other side. Swing down, chariot, stop and let me ride. Swing down, chariot, stop and let me ride. Rock me, Lord, rock me, Lord. Stop and let, let me ride. Swing, swing down, chair, stop and let, let me ride. Rock me, Lord, rock me, Lord, so calm, calm and easy. I got a home on the other side. Swing down, sweet chair, stop and let me for us in dying, that he demonstrated in dying for us. It's called And Can It Be.
song to end up with, Amazing Love. That is truly, truly amazing. Thank you, Acapella Harmony. And for one of their CDs, number 0384. 0384. Right there. You're too close to see almost. Very good. Head back there. Don't forget to go pick it up. All right, kind of feels like we're heading down the home stretch here, so uh, you've been a very, very patient and, and kind and good audience, and we do appreciate that a lot. For those of you that are out there listening to us live stream, and I have a sneaking feel, I was gonna do this last evening and it slipped my mind, but I have a feeling there may be a young man in New York that is watching and listening. And so John, this is for you. John Stolzfus from New York. Last night we were gonna have him on for a few songs and he called me a few weeks ago and said, Ray, I'm not gonna be able to come. And he was uh, suffering with some pain, some other physical ailments and so I, I really regretted that. I was really hoping that this weekend we could have him here to sing a few songs and, and we know his health is failing, but John, we love you. And thank you for being a faithful supporter of the acapella gospel sing here in Indiana. Give him a hand. Thank you. And all for all the rest of you that are out there watching, thank you so much and God bless you. Would you make welcome one final time here, singing servants all the way from Pennsylvania. Once like a bird in prison I dwelt, no freedom from my sorrow I felt. But Jesus came and listened to me, and glory to God, he set me free. He set me free, yes, he set me free, and he broke the bonds of prison for me. I'm glory bound, my Jesus, to see for glory to God, he set me free. Goodbye to sin and things that confound, naught of the world shall turn me around. Daily I'm working, I'm praying to, and glory to God I'm going through. He set me free. He set me free, and he broke the bonds of prison for me. I'm glory bound by Jesus to see, for glory to God, he set me free. Oh, he set me free, yes, he set me free. He broke the bonds of prison for me. I'm glory bound, my Jesus, to see for glory to God. He set me free. He set me free, yes, he set me free. He broke the bonds of prison for me. I'm glory bound, my Jesus, to see for glory to God. He set me free. Glory to God, he set me free. The message of salvation and Jesus Christ setting us free, can we be thankful enough for that? Um, a little story I wanted to share from our community that happened a couple of weeks ago. I was talking to a young man who recounted a story of um, how his mom um, was one of the first on the scene at a local graveyard, and they found a young man, a 21-year-old young man, lying by the grave of his mother, and he had overdosed on drugs. Gone at 21 years old. And it was exactly two years to the day that his mother 
had died in the same way. Just what a, what a sad, heartbreaking picture of hopelessness and desperation. I just had to think of this next song we're about to sing, and I had to wonder, did anyone tell these people about Jesus? Did anyone tell them about Jesus? Today you walked another mile down the pathway that's leading you home. And you met many travelers along the way, both strangers and friends that you've known. And often you stop to talk for a while with those you met on the way. But friend, did you mention the name of the Lord? To someone you talked with today, did you tell someone about Jesus? Did you mention his name to a friend? Did you warn the stranger who's lost and undone that death is the wages of sin? Did you show them the plan of salvation? Did you tell them he's coming again? Did you talk about Jesus or the things of this world? Did you tell someone about him? Some traveler you shall meet today may walk down this pathway no more. For this could be the final mile before his journey's o'er. How sweet it would be. Did you mention his name to a friend? Did you warn the stranger who's lost and undone that death is the wages of sin? Did you show them the plan of salvation? Did you tell them he's coming again? Did you talk about Jesus or the things of this world? Did you tell someone about him? Did you tell someone about Jesus? Did you mention his name to a friend? Did you warn the stranger who's lost and undone that death is the wages of sin? Did you show them the plan of salvation? Did you tell them he's coming again? Did you talk about Jesus or the things of this world? Did you tell someone about him? When my way groweth drear, precious Lord,
time here so far. I've really enjoyed myself. And the next song on the list is called, Oh Brother, Be Faithful. And it's an encouragement to me and hopefully to you as well to be faithful, to trust in God, and to follow his leading everywhere we go in life. Soon Jesus will come, for whom we have waited so long. Oh, soon we shall enter our glorious home and join in the conqueror's song. Oh, brother, be faithful, for why should we prove unfaithful to him who hath shown? Such deep, such unbounded and infinite love, who died to redeem us his own. O brother, be faithful, the city of gold, prepared for the good and the blessed, is waiting its portals of pearl to unfold, and welcome thee into thy rest. Then, brother, prove faithful, not long shall we stay in weariness here and forlorn. Time's dark night of sorrow is wearing away. We haste to the glorious morn. Oh, brother, be faithful, he soon will be sent. Creation's omnipotent king. While legions of angels his chariot attend, and palm wreaths of victory bring. O brother, be faithful, and soon shalt thou hear thy Savior pronounce the glad word. Well done, faithful servant, thy title is clear to enter the joy of Jesus told his faithful disciples, meet me over on the other side. I will meet you when the waters you have crossed. But in the midst of stormy sailing, what do we do? They fearfully cried. Out of the darkness came his answer. Meet me over on the other side. Do not fear the raging waters, trust in me and face the storm. I will calm the winds around you, in my hand you're safe from harm. Waves cease rolling and the winds stop blowing, that's my child in the midst of the tide. Be not afraid of the tossing billows, meet me over on the other side. God still speaking to his children, meet me over on the other side. Though the storms of life are many, we'll reach our goal. He is watching for the storm clouds, he will be our Savior and guide. Can't you hear him gently beckon? 
Stop blowing, that's my child in the midst of the tide. Be not afraid of the tossing billows. Meet me over on the other side. Well, do not fear the raging waters. Trust in me and face the storm. I will calm the winds around you in my hand. You're safe from harm. Wave cease rolling in the wind. Stop blowing. That's my child in the midst of the tide. Be not afraid of the tossing billows. Billows, meet me over there on the other side. Very much, singing servants. Appreciate your presence this year. I'm going to give one of their CDs away real quickly here. 0187, 0187. Right there. I like it. And we're getting the front row thinned out here, aren't we? That's great. I'm glad you're here. We're on to a TBA slot, and we've got about three different kind of things happening here in the next 20 minutes, so bear with us. If none of it turns out right, don't blame me. If it all turns out right, <laughs> isn't that the way you do it? It's not. I'm sorry, I should have asked him before that. All right, this is part of the Della Granges. I'm not sure what's happening here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just turn it over to them for right now. You guys go for it. Solid rock. Solid rock. Solid rock. Solid rock. Solid rock. Solid rock. Christ is the solid rock. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ.
Next up is going to be, I, I don't know, why don't you guys come on out? Uh, you're, this is just a little bit hard to comprehend almost, but hello? <laughs> All right, we're ready for you. It, it looks like a never ending row of black. One, two, three, four. I'm almost to 144,000, not quite. <laughs> but this is a combination of shalom and message of hope, and so I'm looking forward to what they have to bring us here. You're not the last one, though, are you? Really? Finally. All right. Would you make this group welcome, okay? Okay. Um, uh, I knew that shalom recorded this song, and we had also recorded it, and I talked to them, and they had been planning to sing it, and we had been planning to sing it, so we decided to do it together. is 
That was pretty anyway. We got another group of men coming out, and uh, as soon as they get uh, microphones swapped there, stick around for tonight um, for the finale, and uh, it'll, be, it'll be interesting, at least for me. <laughs> Maybe not so much for you, but we'll go over a little bit of history and uh, some of the facts regarding the uh, acapella gospel singing in the 10 years that we've been doing this. All right, this is, uh, this is going to be an interesting one. You know, these guys, these guys have uh, special ways of singing, and um, most of it's just pretty good. And, uh, <laughs> but no, I, I, love, I love listening to them. And now you put these two groups together, well, this has got to be good. So um, I'd bless you guys for doing it. The guy in the middle is, uh, Let's see, this is the... Uh, Gotta sing twice as loud. Yeah, yeah, because he's covering for two positions. And uh, I feel for you, Tom. You know, we were, it must be rough. We were talking about it earlier, like myself, not these guys, but another group of guys. We we're trying to figure out what a na good name for the quartet would be yeah. or, or whatever we are. Two quartets put together equals seven people type of thing. And so we have, you know, HQ and we have Crosswalk. And I was like, it's got to be Tom and the somethings. I said, and so, but Tom's the common denominator here. So I was like, so it's Tom and the denominators. Well, Clark from Singing Servants so helpfully contributed that maybe we should just be the Tom and denominators. Tom and denominators, yeah. There you go. <laughs> so I love it. I think maybe that's our new official group <laughs> name. <laughs> All right. Hey. Let it roll. Would you welcome this group by the Tommies? <laughs>
All right, thank you for being patient with us. Sometimes when the TBAs come up, those are designed to kind of correct schedule. Well, then sometimes there's nothing for the TBA, and so we kind of frantically uh, work back there. But we're grateful for what they do to help us out. Why don't you all stand? We're going to sing a verse or two of uh, Come We That Love the Lord. We're marching to Zion. Come we that love the Lord and let our joys be known. Join in a song and sweet accord. Join in a song with sweet accord. We're surround the throne and thus surround the throne. We're marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Let those Thank you for that. We welcome, there's I know always newcomers coming in because the audience definitely looks better, or not better, that wasn't, didn't come out right, <laughs> different than what it did earlier today. And so um, for those of you who have stayed all day, we're just grateful that you're here. We're bringing the next group out uh, just a tad bit early, but uh, it's okay. We're going to give them plenty of time. Um, this group, I was going to ask Ray if I may say something, and I don't know, maybe he's been saying something all weekend, I don't know, but this is a little bit bittersweet for me. Um, can I say something? Did you say it? Did you say something already? Okay. All right. It's, it's a bit bittersweet for me, and I can't quite imagine how it feels for them. Um, at this point, this group probably will not be back for another year because of other opportunities and other obligations, maybe put it that way, that they have, and so not going to be singing uh, as such. And so there's a part of me that tugs just a little bit that's really, I mean, this is, this is it? But there may be another time that we can have them come. I don't know. We'll see what's what God has, has in store. God, Ray can enlighten us on that maybe, but uh, why don't you make welcome for the very last time 
Sharon Belfort Quartet. Thank you, Titus. Yeah, see, yesterday, I, with the, for those of you that were here, we did say something about that this is our last time to be at the a cappella gospel sing. I actually expended for, ex, expected for the house to just erupt in applause, and what a wonderful thing, but it didn't happen, but anyway, thank you. We, uh, this being our last stand for this year and for the foreseeable future, anyway, kind of went back into the archives, as we call them sometimes, the archives, picked out a bunch of songs that, or not a bunch, five songs that we sung over the years and um, for some reason or other kind of enjoy them. And, and this first song is one that we often started our concerts out with for some reason. And then uh, there's a few other songs along the line here that um, just have some special meaning to us too. So bear with us as we uh, finalize or finish up here this afternoon. We're going to start out with a song that's called The Lighthouse of the Lord. There is help and hope on life's dark troubled sea. There is hope eternal shining clear and free. There is help and hope on life's dark troubled sea. For the light from the lighthouse is shining for me. There's a light that shines from the house of the Lord. So warm and inviting, it shines through his word. Jesus Christ, the sun, Jesus Christ, the light. What a refuge for the pilgrim in this dark, troubled night. There's a family circle that's gathering home. God in love is calling, come my child, come home. There's a family circle that is gathering home. He is calling out of this world where they roam. There's a light that shines from the house of the Lord, so warm and inviting, it shines through his word. Jesus Christ, the sun, Jesus Christ, the light, what a refuge for the pilgrim in this dark troubled night. There is room for all in the family of God. There is room for all who humbly walk with God. There is room for all in the family of God as the light from the lighthouse is shining. shines from the house of the Lord. So warm and inviting, it shines through his word. Jesus Christ, the sun, Jesus Christ, the light. What a refuge for the pilgrim in this dark trouble. It was early in the morning, and a stillness filled the garden where he lay. Then the ground shook with power as the angel came and rolled the stone away. Oh, the glory of the living God broke through to the darkness of the tomb, and the Love 
memories that this next song holds is is the afternoon or evening I guess it was I spent at my mother's bedside watching her pass and uh, the second the second uh, stanza of the song it's called supper time by the way it says one day beside her bedside I was kneeling and we had sung this song before and it really didn't dawn on me as I knelt there that day any of the words of the song just didn't come to me until later on. One day beside her bedside I was kneeling, and angel wings were winnowing the air. She heard the call for supper time in heaven, and now I know she's waiting for me there. So it was very real. When I was but a boy in days of childhood, I used to play till evening shadows fall, then winding down an old familiar pathway. I heard my mother call as set of sun, come Now I see her standing 
yonder. And her familiar voice I hear once more. The banquet table's ready up in heaven. It's supper time. We're going to bring somebody else out to help us on the next song. Is Mike in there? All right, come on out. Mike is typically sings on this stage, um, usually with his wife and sister and brother as Harmony Quartet. He's from Tennessee. Mike has faithfully been helping throughout each one of these events over the years. and and. Uh, I felt sorry for him. I felt like he needs to be out here and at least help on a song. And so um, we're going to sing a song, too, that we've often concluded with. This is not the concluding song today, but uh, it's called Sweet Beulah Land. And we're going to have Mike help us with this. I'm kind of
Thank you, Mike. This, uh, this next song was sung a couple hours ago by one of the other groups. And I uh, hope Ray, you don't mind me sharing a little bit here on this song. Kind of derived from an experience that Ray and Bertha had uh, 10, 12, 14 years. I don't know how long ago it's been. It's been a while. 2006. Okay. Now, 16 years. Okay. Anyway, uh, they were involved in an accident with another family, another couple from our church. And uh, needless to say, you know, by the grace of God, they're all okay now, but they, they were banged up pretty good. Uh, spent some time in Des Moines in the hospital there and had just left from a wedding, is that right? Or was it a funeral? I forget. Anyway, needless to say, they were, uh, Ray was on the way to Iowa City for a doctor's appointment a week or two later. Daughter was with him and they were playing this CD, this song was on it, titled, God Wants to Hear You Sing. Daughter said, Dad, you need to listen to this. And uh, kind of out of that was, uh, this song was born into our quartet and also as one of our, uh, one, one of our uh, lead songs in one of our, one of our CDs. And a uh, song that really got a hold of us it's a song that a lot of you can re uh, reflect to today. Many of you here have been through tough times. And uh, as the other group, and I'm not trying to take their song away, but uh, as the other group already uh, shared with us, it's, it's when we're having a tough time in life that God still wants to hear us sing. And you know, I believe that's when God is really glorified, and it's just... It refers to, it says, their chains were fast and tight down in the jail that night, referring to Paul and Silas. It says they wouldn't be dismayed, but, he, but they said, it's time to lift our voice and sing. You know, it's been said that either we're just entering into a valley experience, or we're in the middle of one, or we're just coming out of one. It doesn't sound very encouraging, does it? But when that happens, we have a God that's worth serving and singing about. God wants to hear you sing, not just at the a cappella gospel sing, or at your church, or in your chorus, but when you're right in the middle of that valley. God bless you to listen to this. Our last, our final song, I guess. Their chains were fastened tight down at the jail that night. Still Paul and Silas would not be dismayed. They said it's time to lift our voice, sing praises to the Lord. Let's prove that we will trust him, come what may. God wants to hear you sing when the waves are crashing round you, when the fiery darts surround you, when despair is all you see. God wants to hear your voice when the wisest man has spoken and says your circumstance is as hopeless as can be. That's when God wants to hear you sing. He loves to hear our praise on our cheerful days. The pleasant times outweigh the bad by far. But when suffering comes along and we still sing him songs, that is when we bless the Father's heart. God wants to hear you sing when the waves are crashing round you, 
When the fiery dart surrounds you, when despair is all you see, God wants to hear your voice. When the wisest man has spoken and says your circumstance is as hopeless as can be, that's when God wants to hear you sing. God wants to hear you sing when the waves are crashing round you, when the fiery darts surround you, when despair is all you see. God wants to hear your voice when the wisest man has spoken and says your circumstance is as hopeless as can be. That's when God wants to hear you sing. That's when God wants to Keep on singing, folks. God bless you. Let's give them a standing ovation. Why don't you stand on your feet? Keep, keep clapping. Give them a standing ovation. Gentlemen, we want you right back out Thank on you. this stage, OK? We have one more song for you. You may be seated. Thank you. Do you have any song? Surely you've got a song that's a favorite that you want to do. You name it. You name it. It doesn't matter to us. Thank you. I feel like this is fitting. It's not that many years that we've been singing this song, but... I think it's fitting for the occasion right now. And um, had we known at the end of 2019 how many, many people would pass and we would not see them here again. But when a believer dies, we have a hope that someday over yonder we're gonna see them. So we're gonna sing just over yonder. Just over yonder, beyond the river, there is a city of pure delight, where many loved ones are congregating with palms of victory, with robes of white. Just over yonder, there will be no heartaches there, no lonely days. There's nothing here, friends, but disappointments. So often here we are left alone. But over yonder, hearts will grow fonder, and separations will never come. Yonder, there will be no heartache there. rejoicing when we get home. Just over yonder we'll soon be going 
to see the Savior upon his throne and hear a welcome ring out from heaven, O weary pilgrim, this is our final home. Yonder there heartache there days up there when we get home. Yonder there will be no heartache there. Days of there will ever come. There'll be no crying. There'll be no dying. Oh, what rejoicing. When we get home. A song is for you, Pat. Thank you, gentlemen. We're grateful for their contribution to this event. We're going to give one of their CDs away. 0302, 0302. Tim, is that you? 0302? Excellent. Very good. All right. We are bringing on the next group. Um, they are hopefully not nearing their end. They have just started their journey a number of years ago. And so we're certainly proud of who this group is, and I don't know why it's happened, but somehow I think I've introduced you guys three times this weekend. So, what a blessing, what a blessing. What a blessing, yeah. Well, I don't know, why don't you make welcome Crosswalk? I've been walking with the Lord for many a day. Nothing gonna stumble, stumble my feet. Trying to abide in the straight and narrow way. Nothing gonna stumble, stumble my feet. But when my time on earth is done, and I hear my name, and I hear my name. Oh, when my time on earth is done, these weary feet are gonna run. Not gonna trip, not gonna stumble. No, I'm not gonna slip. No, nothing gonna stumble, stumble my feet when I go to walk that golden street. Now the devil is a liar and a cheater too. Nothing gonna stumble, stumble my feet. And if he gets his way, he'll make a slider out of you. Nothing gonna stumble, stumble my feet. But if you listen for the Spirit's voice in the moment of truth, of truth, moment of truth. Oh, if you listen for the Spirit's voice, He'll help you make the right choice. No, not gonna stumble, not gonna trip, not gonna stumble. No, I'm not gonna slip. No, nothing gonna stumble, stumble my feet when I go to walk that golden street, that golden street. Not gonna waver, waver, falter, falter, sway or fall. Not gonna stumble or slide, slide. Not gonna waver, waver, falter, falter, sway or fall. Not gonna stumble at all. Not gonna stumble. Not gonna trip. Not gonna stumble. No, I'm not gonna slip. No, nothing gonna stumble. Stumble my feet when I go to walk that golden street. Not gonna stumble. Not gonna trip. Not gonna stumble. No, I'm not gonna slip. No, nothing gonna stumble. Stumble my feet when I go to walk that golden street. That golden street, not gonna stammer, not gonna that trip, golden not gonna stumble, no, I'm not gonna that slip, golden street. not gonna stammer, not gonna that trip, golden street. not gonna stumble, no, I'm not gonna that slip, golden street. not gonna stammer, not gonna that trip, golden street. not gonna stumble, no, I'm not, not gonna, gonna slip when I go to walk that golden street, not gonna stumble, stumble my feet.
next song we're going to sing is entitled When I Move. So this song was, or at least one of the recordings anyway, that we looked at by Toby Lister and the Statesman in 1962. So That's just a couple years you graduated just in high a school. Years ago. It's not that long ago. It was two years before I was born. <laughs> My mistake. Great song. And I know that when Tom picked this song out to sing, I was eh, not quite sure. But uh, it has really grown on me. And uh, there's probably a reason it has stood the test of time. So when I move. I'm getting ready, ready. I'm getting ready now to move. Move right into my father's house on Heaven's Avenue. Ready, ready. I'm getting ready now to move. Move right into my father's house on Heaven's Avenue. Walk right down the streets of gold with the friends I used to know. I want to sit down and have a little talk with Shadrach. Meshach, Abednego, see St. Peter, James, and John. I want to talk with the prophets one by one. When I move right into my father's house on Heaven's Avenue. Gonna move. Gonna move. I'm getting ready now to move. I'm gonna move right into my father's house on Heaven's Avenue. Gonna move. I'm getting ready now to move. Yes, I'm gonna move. I'm getting ready now to move. I'm gonna move right into Father's house on Heaven's Avenue. I got a mother. I'm living there with God. Who walked the way he trod. He has a home with me and a sister yonder on the golden street. Who used to pray? Who used to say that he'd meet me in my father's house on Heaven's Avenue? I'm gonna walk, 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 walk streets of gold with the friends I used to know. I want to sit down and have a little talk with Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, see St. Peter, James, and John. I want to talk with the prophets one by one. Move right into my father's house on Heaven's Avenue. Heaven's Avenue. Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? 
nobody but my Lord. Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but my Lord and Master. Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but my Lord. So thank you, Nancy Lab. Call you out. And so uh, we heard it from a couple others too, but it's more fun to give your mother-in-law grief um, than it is the rest of the crowd. So it's a new song called Help Is On The Way. Maybe midnight or midday. Never leave, never lay. He will stand by claims I've lived enough life to say I heard your heart do, do, I see your pain do, 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 out in the dark do, 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 out in the rain do, 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 you're so alone do, 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 you're so afraid do, 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 I heard you pray do, 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 in Jesus name do, 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 it may be midnight or midday it's never early never late he will stand by what he claims I've lived enough life to say Help is on the way Round in the corner Help is on the way Coming for ya Help is on the way Yeah, yeah I've, I've lived, lived enough life to say Help is on the way Sometimes it's days Sometimes it's years Some face a lifetime of fallen tears But he's in the darkness He's in the cold Just like the morning He always shows Maybe midnight or midday It's never early Never late He will stand by what he claims I've lived enough life to say Help is on the way Round in the corner I've lived enough life to say Help is on the way Round in the corner Help is on the way Coming for ya of life to say help is on the way well I've seen my share of troubles but the Lord ain't failed me yet so I'm holding on to the promise y'all that he's rolling up his sleeves again said I've seen my share of troubles but the Lord ain't failed me yet We'll keep rolling, rolling up, on rolling to the up, promise, y'all, that he's rolling, rolling up his sleeves again. Rolling up, rolling up, don't rolling you know up, it? Rolling up his sleeves again. I can see him rolling, rolling up, rolling up, Help rolling up. Help is coming. Rolling up his sleeves again. Yeah, it may be midnight or midday. It may be midnight or midday. It may be midnight. No, he's never late. He will stand by what he claims. I've lived enough life to say, help is on the way. Yeah, help is on the way. Round in the corner, help is on the way. It's just through a simple request 
It's asking God that when he comes back, the same way he came back for Elijah with that chariot of fire, that when he comes back with that chariot, um, that it's kind of a picture, that, that we'd be able to ride along too, that he would blow down the chariot and let us ride. Low down the chariot, let me ride. Won't you low down the chariot, let me ride. Won't you low down the chariot, let me ride. Low down the chariot, let me ride. Why don't you low down the chariot, let me ride. Won't you low down the chariot, let me ride. Low down the chariot, let me ride. Low down the chariot, let me ride. Ride on, King Jesus, ride on, the conquering King. I want to go to heaven in the morning. Ride on, King Jesus, ride on, King Jesus, ride on, the conquering King. I want to go to heaven in the morning. I've been trying so hard just to make it all through. I know I'm trying to live the way you want me to. I want to say goodbye to all the sin inside. I don't want to miss that great glory ride. So when you break on through that golden sky, please slow it down. Don't pass me by. Swing that chariot way down low. I want to go like Elijah when I go. Ride on, King Jesus, ride on, the conquering King. I want to go to heaven in the morning. Ride on, ride on, King Jesus, ride on, King Jesus, ride on, the conquering King. I want to go to heaven in the morning. Let me ride. Chariot, let me ride. Low down the chariot, let me ride. Let me ride. Let me ride. Low down the chariot, let me ride. Low down the chariot. Let Justin, your mother-in-law did you right to ask you to sing that song again. All right, we're going to give away another CD. 0398. 0398. Nobody? Okay. 0514. 0514. You might have to holler because I can't see everything. 0525. Right there. Good. Good. We got a winner. You guys aren't using this. I'm going to put it in the back. This group, I think I've introduced them three times as well. But I told you before, very talented, gifted group. And we're grateful that they're here all the way from Pennsylvania. And do you always include music to your, to your title? Not usually? Yeah, because it's listed as music, but I always knew him as Shalom. So make welcome Shalom. Still winding and swirling and 
Amen. I trust that's your testimony. We are going over home, and we're looking forward to that time. While we're here, uh, we're still here, and uh, the next song we're going to sing describes something that we all face from time to time. When we're in the middle of something that we just don't know how it's going to end or how God's going to bring us through this. And this song describes being in the middle of a storm, a raging storm with no hope of escape. At least that's the way it appears. And this song uh, describes the lightning striking, there's nowhere to hide, and my boat's taking on water, and I think I'm going down. And in that moment, we cry out, hard the waters, Lord. And I don't know what analogy speaks to you the best. Maybe you're um, one of the children of Israel facing a wall of water um, that seems to be blocking um, your escape. Whatever it is, um, we can cry out to God. And this song describes him reaching out his hand to help us. And even if we don't know what that rescue looks like, we know that he hears. And in him, we can be secure. This song is titled Secure. The song after that is Abide With Me. It kind of continues that theme of Christ's presence with us as we walk. And this song is special to me. It's an old hymn, um, but my earliest memories of it are my, my extended family singing it. This was a song my grandpa and uh, uncles and aunts sang when they got together. And it's one of my favorite hymns and one I sing to my little son when I'm putting him to sleep. So we'll sing Secure and then Abide With Me. A storm is raging, Lord, the boat I sail is small and oh so frail. The wind is blowing, Lord, I cannot hold the course against the gale. The lightning strikes on every side, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Your hand alone can hold the tide, Lord, rescue me. I am sinking,
Gentlemen, I think that's probably my all-time favorite out of their, their songs that I've heard this weekend. All right, see if we can find another winner. 0494. 0494. Okay. Did I miss it? Right, okay. Yes, sorry. The lights sometimes blind me, and I'm just looking everywhere, and I can't see it. Thank you. 0494. All right, this Canadian group, I can't really talk like the Northerners do, eh? But I do a little bit. Um, I can always tell where they come from. But the Canadian group, uh, bless their hearts, have, have graced us with their presence. Um, I know crossing the border isn't as fun as it used to be, I can tell you that. Um, but we certainly are grateful for your presence here tonight. And... Uh, this group, and I don't, oh, I can't remember the names, but I do remember you all sang on different groups before, right? Am I, am I correct? Um, yeah, some of the, and so they created a new group. Um, but they bring their talents to us, and we're, we're honored to have them here. So make welcome Chords of Praise. I'm running for your heart, I'm running 
burning for your heart till I am a soul on fire, Lord. I'm longing for your ways, I'm waiting for the day when I am a soul on fire, till I am a soul on fire, God. I'm running for your heart, I'm running for your heart till I am a soul on fire, Lord. I'm longing for your ways, I'm waiting for the day when I am a soul on fire, till I am a soul on fire, till I am a soul on fire. It's a wonderful thought how God can use me as a stumbling person in his work. And I saw some notice the fact that there are times that we make mistakes, I make mistakes. Um, I'm not sure about you, but I often make mistakes. And God, all God wants is a, is a person that he can use. A person who says, God, I, I, I messed up, but I'm coming back to you. And I, I love the message of that song. You know, it's pretty simple. It is quite profound. This next song is, as well, our Christmas album. I like this song. Um, it, it's a, it's a, um, it gives a story of and the innkeeper had to make a choice. He, he made room in the barn. And often he gets a bad rap for, for giving, for allowing Christ to be born in a barn. That's what the storybooks tell us. <clears throat> but we have a choice, just like the innkeeper. Maybe our life feels full, but we have to make room. And not just make room, we have to give Jesus everything. A family hiding from the storm Found no place at the keeper's door It was for this a child was born To save a world so cold and hollow The sleeping town they did not know That lying in a manger low A savior has no home, has come to heal our sorrows. Is there room in your heart? Is there room in your heart? Is there room in your heart for God to write his story? Shepherds count sheep at night do not fear the glory light you are precious in his sight God has come to raise the lowly is there room in your heart is there room in your heart is there Yeah. 
set you apart when you make room in your heart and train your dreams for his glory make room in your heart make room in your heart make room in your heart make room in your heart
But we're here, the last time we were here in Ireland, Tony mentioned earlier that his mom passed away two years ago. We didn't know when we were recording this album that it was going to be dedicated to her. Tony's parents would always have a reserved seat on the front row here at HES for as long as we've been singing together. And they were really, um, they were great supporters of ours. Tony's dad was here this weekend, the crowd here. It's been a hard two years for a lot of people, but I think we as the remnant that remain true to God, we have a responsibility to live our lives each day so that those of us that are still here and those that are watching us can tell that we serve God and God alone. The things of this earth don't matter at all. If I fill my brain with everything that's going on in this world, I'd go crazy. So I try my best not to. And I think it's a challenge for me, and I challenge each of you. Live your life when you leave here as an open book before God, as a constant living prayer, and you will be blessed for it. I am sure that many blessings will be had by just opening our lives before God and let God speak to you and be the ruler of your life. In this world I walk alone with no place to call The strength to climb, my griefs to bear, the Savior lives inside me there.
Well, that brings us to our last song here, and uh, what a good weekend it's been. It's, it's uh, what a blessing to have so many like-minded Christians in one house just praising the Lord. This has been, this has been wonderful. The last song we have here is God's Word Will Stand, and that's the way we want to leave it here with you guys, and um, no matter what happens in this world, we know one thing. God's word will not be stamped out until he returns. Um, God's word will stand no matter what. We don't need to fear about uh, things that are happening in this world. Um, you know, the, the uh, countries can reject Jesus. They can take Jesus out of public schools. They can take Jesus um, off, of, off of walls, plaques, whatever. They can try to stamp out Jesus, but Jesus will not be stamped out. God's word will stand, no doubt about it. What has happened to a nation who used to fear the Lord, to a people whose foundation was built upon God's word? We've allowed the world's opinion to chart a different way, but it's time the church of Jesus Christ should boldly stand and say, God's word will stand against the raging tide of those who criticize and work their evil plans god's word will stand against the gates of hell will power to prevail in the hearts of men god's word will stand they can take it from the courthouse walls remove from the schools, teach our children that we're animals, speak against the golden rule, try to hide our Christian heritage from the public eye, but they'll never overcome God's word, no matter how they try. God's word will stand against the raging tide of those who criticize and work their evil plans. God's word will stand against the gates of hell with power to prevail in the hearts of men. God's word will stand. It is forever settled to evermore endure. It's the only way a sinner's heart can ever be made pure. God's word will stand against the raging tide of those who criticize and work their evil plans. God's word will stand against the gates of hell with power to prevail in the hearts of men god's word will stand god's word will stand god's word will stand Thank you so much, Chords of Praise. We, we're delighted to have you agree to come this year. Thank you, and somewhere down in the future, we'll do it again. And a drawing for their CD, 0523, 0523, right there. Another front row job. I wonder if they're plotting something or, that's amazing. Anyway, thank you. Um, I got to check on something real quickly. Not here yet. All right. Oh, all right. The uh, quartet that was that came and, and has had struggles with uh, voices and so forth. I'd, I want them to come up here because 
I honestly don't know them, and I think you should be able to see them. Hang on just a second, Della Granges. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna bring them up and at least introduce them. And uh, I think I don't know. You could, some of you may not know or re even remember. How long have you guys been actually singing as anchor quartet? Twenty years. Twenty years. And who's been on this long? You. <laughs> oh. Yeah, look at the smile. <laughs> Very good. Are you Darrell? You're Darrell. You would have been the one that I might have had some contact with, but I, I think earlier years we kind of tried to get Anchor to come, and what was your stubbornness all about? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Delighted to have you here. Sorry you couldn't sing. Now, who lost his I don't know that it mattered. The, the old man? Is he the oldest? Why does it happen that way so often? I, in our group, I, I am actually the oldest and, and I'm often the one that loses something, maybe not boys. <laughs> Sometimes it's, it's a little bit higher than the boys. So sorry. You wanna try again? You wanna try something? Well, Look at there. <laughs> He's your base. I'll loan your mind for just a little bit. <laughs> Sorry about that. Glenn Most and you're Steve Beachy. And then Darrell Orendorf and Sean Schrock. You got can we just count on you for next year right away? We don't have any dates. Lord willing, yeah. Well, we're all that way. Give this group a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you for coming up here and at least see what this thing looks like, and, or what they look like, I guess. Benches don't mean much, but uh, I guess they do if you want to sit down, right? Anything you want to say? I can get you a mic. Please feel free. Yeah, I'll just say that it, it sure has been a blessing to be here, even though we're extremely disappointed that it didn't work out for us to be able to sing. But what a blessing it has been to be able to sit and to take in all the music. I was here a couple years ago uh, for the first time ever, and I told these guys about it and what a wonderful uh, time that it is here. And they now believe me. And yeah, it's just been such a great experience really experienced the time of worshiping the Lord with you all, and we really appreciate the opportunity to come. I think I actually met you that time when you, you came out to be here one time. You look familiar. For some reason, I couldn't, couldn't put a face to the name anymore, but uh, thank you so much. And, and, and the, the neat thing about this event is how the, the groups come together here. We don't have that feeling of competition or, or uh, man, I don't want to get too close or something's going to rub off on me. And, and, uh, but they, they sing together. We saw that today. And uh, it, it's amazing. And uh, I want you guys to know that I, all of us were pulling for you as hard as we could and praying. But um, and, uh, God has a purpose and a reason why it didn't work. But I hope you were blessed. And right now we're blessed by your presence. So thank you and God bless you. Glenn, whose son are you? I don't better, I better not do that now. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, once again, we're going to be bringing the Delagrange family on. And, and uh, I, I told them a little bit ago, I'm just impressed with how organized they are. And maybe I don't see everything or didn't see everything, no. But anyway, what I saw, I was impressed. I don't know if that's a credit to dad or mom or maybe some of the children. And uh, sometimes the children are the ones that uh, get mom and dad around and get to the right place and wear the right colors and all that, right? Uh, that's okay, you don't need to agree. <laughs> He didn't want to, so I wouldn't push that at all. 
Do you ever hear that where there's an action, there's a reaction? Yeah, I've heard something like that. Where there's organization, there's disorganization. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> uh, that I can believe too. But would you once again put your hands together and welcome the Delagrange family. So glad to are here. So I guess we're going to do introductions here on our last standing. Um, I'm Jason, and this is my wife, Verna. And we have three children. The first two were a set of twins. Corbin and Kiana, and this is Wyatt, and he's two. I'm Jared Wilson. I'm an in-law here. I guess they accepted me and told me I needed to sing or one of the two. Um, this is my wife, Katrina. And God has blessed us with three daughters. The oldest is Marissa, and then Evelyn, and Abigail. And I also want to thank my parents and family for being here this weekend and helping us watch them. It takes a try. Yeah have three kids and both of the parents singing, so thank you for that. Okay, I guess I'll introduce the rest. The rest of us still live in the home place. Uh, Leroy, standing next to Jared. This is Kendra, my wife Brenda, and son Arlen. We have another daughter and son-in-law that lives in uh, North Dakota. Uh, he would be a son of uh, Norman Yoder, if you know that family up there. I think they got an uncle sitting down here on the third bench. And uh, they can't be here today because on the 28th of March, they were expecting the delivery of a child, and they're still waiting on that. So they are uh, tuned in and uh, watching the live program. For the first song, I think we're gonna sing, uh, Jesus Loves Me, these children are, wanted to sing a song. A song that's important to them and it should be important to us as well. So any children out there can help sing along. I'd love to say something about every last single one of these songs, this last section. But I can't. But the song I do want to say something about, it's not the first one you're going to sing. But my cry today has been <coughs> that I could be full. People can't get anything from an empty well. And some of you know I've been gone from home the last three weeks and weekends and only home for about two days in between and I'm feeling empty. And the song that struck me in this last this last section was it's through the blood and I'll just read the first two the first two verses and that's that's what I have to say. But it says, when I think of heaven and all 
the sights I'll see. The walls of jasper, gates of pearl, the clear and golden streets. Why should I be present? Why should I enter in? After all the sinful living, In the presence of Jehovah, as I stand before the throne, the accuser of the brethren starts to read the things that I've done. As I hear the awful charges, a question fills my mind. Why should I not be put in hell to suffer for all of them? My mind goes to Revelation when we start in the Course and it says it's through the blood. That's all I have to plead. It's through the blood that Jesus shed for me. This last section talks about a lot of the omnipotence of God, God the Almighty. And it's through the blood of His Son that we can sing about what we're going to sing this last section.
Messiah, Jehovah, the Prince of Peace is He. The Son of Man, Seed of Abraham, Second Person in the Trinity. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Son of God, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, He's everything, Messiah.
When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more And the morning breaks eternal, bright and bright and fair When the saved of earth shall gather over on the other shore And the roll is caught up yonder, I'll be, I'll be there I'll be there Oh, I'll be there, I'll be there Hallelujah. When the roll is caught up yonder, I'll be there
It's entitled, Go Out and Serve Him. You've been filled with the Spirit. Now, take it out and use that to bless other people. Filled with the Spirit, filled with God's grace, filled with the friendship we find in this place. Call as disciples, go now in faith. Jesus will show. Next song is kind of hard to sit quiet on. I'm not going to tell you the title of it, but when you feel like joining in, you go ahead and join in. We are living in the last days. We've been just saying the song, go out and serve him. And uh, there's a message that we can have to the world, we can give to the world, and we're going to sing it. These are the days of Elijah, declaring the word of the Lord. And these are the days of your servant Moses, righteousness being restored. And though these are days of great trial, of famine and darkness and sorrow, Still we are the voice in the desert crying, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Behold, he comes, riding on the clouds, shining like the sun at the trumpet call. So lift your voice. It's the year of Jubilee, and now the Zion's hill salvation. the days of Ezekiel, the dry bones becoming as flesh. Oh. And these are the days of your servant David, rebuilding a temple of praise. And these are the days of the Jehovah, there's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. 
There is no God like Jehovah. There is no God like Jehovah. There is no God like Jehovah. There is no God like Jehovah. There is no God like Jehovah. There is no God like Jehovah. There is no God like Jehovah. There is no God like Jehovah. There is no God like Jehovah. Salvation comes. Behold, He comes. for a song, and I've learned about seven years ago that God's timing is right. Uh, the name of that song is Somewhere in Disguise. I'm not sure why the man requested it, but uh, it's been mentioned several people have passed away and gone on to eternity, and uh, this song is meant for you. Enjoy it, and uh, be assured of the fact that Jesus is waiting on the other side with our loved ones. Somewhere in the skies. Somewhere in the sky Thank you so much, Della Grange family. It's always always great to have families in, in the lineup and uh, always welcome more. So if you as a family are here and you'd love to uh, love to be a part of this event, talk to us. For a CD from the Della Grange family, 0229. 0229. Am I missing it? Zero four two nine. Zero four two nine.
right there. Man, a little bit of a backslider. You're not quite on the front bench there, brother. But uh, you got your free CD. You go back there and, and pick it up from the Delagrange family. Got it? All right. All right, well, thank you. That's why I bring the lovely lady out, is to keep me on track. Offering time. Ushers, if you would come forward. You guys get to do the offer tour. <laughs> yeah, it's a good time. All right. Let's pray. God, I thank you again for how you've blessed us. You have been so good to all of us because we've been able to be here today. God, help us as we share financially now. I pray you would bless the gift. Also bless each one of the givers here tonight. And I pray, God, that as we use the funds received here to pay for the expenses and the groups and, and whatever is necessary, I pray you would bless that, multiply it according to your will. Especially the groups, God. I just thank you so much for each one of them and how they come not expecting to be completely paid for time, travel, and everything because it's impossible. But God, may you just bless them and anoint them in a very special way and make up the difference for us is our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Once again, last standing this year, His Harmony from Dallas, Texas. Give him a nice welcome. I believe that there was a man named Jonah who lived in the belly of a whale. I believe that there is a beautiful heaven. I believe there's a burning hell. I believe that Moses led God's children all across the hot sand. And when they came to the river, God parted the water and they walked across on dry land. I believe in the blessed hope, the book in the blood, and there is no other way. Jesus is the Son of God, and He's coming back someday. And the Holy Spirit dwells within us, the Heavenly Father is above. I believe in the blessed hope, I believe in the book and the blood. I believe that Mary was a virgin when she heard that Jesus was on his way. I believe if you'll look inside the lowly manger, you'll see God laying in the hay. I believe that Jesus died and was buried and rose up on the third day. And I believe that the trumpet's going to sound so loud, God's, God's children will be called away. Blessed hope, the book in the blood, and there is no other way. Jesus is the Son of God, and He's coming back someday. And the Holy Spirit dwells within us, the Heavenly Father is above. I believe in the blessed hope, I believe in the book and the blood. Blessed hope. The book in the blood, and there is no other way. Jesus is the Son of God, and He's coming back someday. And the Holy Spirit dwells within us, the Heavenly Father is above. I believe in the blessed hope, I believe in the book and the blood. I believe in the blessed hope, yeah. I believe in the Holy Ghost. I believe in the blessed hope. I believe in the book and the blood. Thank you. This next song, if you picture in the book of Revelation that there is an image painted by the hand of John while on the Isle of Patmos 
about a city and about what's going to be happening in that city. And it, he describes Jesus as the lamb that was slain. And there were angels that were crying out, holy, holy, holy is the lamb that was slain. This next song describes that vision that John saw in a song called the Revelation Song. but Jehovah God. And God is mighty to save. You know, from before eternity, in the beginning, before eternity, God planned to send Jesus into the world. This was not a, a second thought thing, but God designed Jesus to come and to die for the sins of you and me. Long before we ever breathed the breath, that's a mighty God who could see that we needed that. And we're going to sing the song, Mighty to Save. Mm -hmm. 
Everyone needs compassion, a love that's never failing. Let mercy fall on me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of the Savior, the hope of nations. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. So take me as you find me, all of my fears and failures. Fill my life again. I give my life to follow everything I believe in. Now I surrender. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Shine your light and let the whole world see. We're singing for the glory of the risen King. Jesus, shine your light and let the whole world see. We're singing for the glory of the risen King. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Savior, you can move the mountains. Lord, you are mighty to save. You are mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, you rose and conquered the grave. Yes, you conquered the grave. Thank you. The next song that we're going to do is entitled In Need. A great, great song. It talks about how we, as Joe's just already observing how our Lord, our God, is mighty to save and how he made provisions for our salvation through his son. But each and every one of us, each and every day, we wake up in a sense of need. We're very needy people. God knew that. That's why he sent his son, because we could not save ourselves without his blood. But we need grace. We need his mercy. We need his love, his compassion. And that comes in many forms. It comes from God. It comes from each of us showing it to one another and in need. In need of grace, in need of love, in need of mercy raining down from high above, in need of strength. In need of peace, in need of things that only you can give to me. In need of Christ, the perfect Lamb, my refuge strong, the great I am. This is my song, my humble I am in need, in need of grace, in need of love, in need of mercy raining down from high above, in need of strength, in need of peace, in need of things that only you can give to me. 
in need of Christ, the perfect land, my refuge strong, the great I am, this is my song, my humble plea, I am your child, I am in need, in need of Christ. this last song, but I just want to convey to you folks the uh, thankfulness uh, from his harmony for the, the uh, warmth you've shown us and for uh, the welcome. And it's been a great joy being here with you, and hopefully Ray will ask us back next year and the year after and so on and so forth. So maybe we'll be here for the 20th anniversary, hopefully even. So you guys are great, and uh, if I had known better, I think you were all Texans, you know. <laughs> but, Thank uh, you all so much. Good to be here with you, and, and uh, we'll see you soon, hopefully. While, while he's inviting us uh, on his own, I, I want to invite myself to supper <laughs> at one of y'all's houses. Is that okay? Who, raise your hand if you want to feed a fat preacher. <laughs> All right. Thank y'all very much. God bless you for the wonderful reception we've had. Bless his heart. That's all I can think of. <laughs> so I've got to introduce the last couple of days a lot of songs about heaven. And that might be on purpose because I kind of set up the program and put the people who introduce songs. So sorry, guys. My favorite subject is heaven. But there's only one way to get to heaven, and that's through the salvation of God. You can't get there without it. And that's what this last song we're going to sing is about. It's salvation belongs to our God. Salvation belongs to our God who sits upon the throne and unto
thank you all. God thank bless you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. It's been what a blessing to have you guys here. Appreciate your contribution. For one of their CDs, and by the way, I don't know, what do you, how many do you have? You have 16 then? 50. I, that wasn't right. One of them Texas stretches again. <laughs> they you got 16 or 17 different ones out there. And of course, they date back to the early days when Dave's father had started the group. But, but uh, make sure you help yourself. We're going to give one of their CDs away to 0221. 0221. I'll check the front rows first here. <laughs> Anybody in the balcony? Zero, two, two, one. All righty. Zero, two, three, nine. Zero, two, three, nine. All you gotta do is say amen and then well, you got it. No, I, not really. Then I'd have to check your number. <laughs> 0305. 0305. Hmm. What did I hear back here? You want the number? Is that what? Oh. 0424. Way back there. All right. 0424, you go back there to the table and get one of the His Harmony CDs. Well, we're down to the last group before the finale. And so uh, it's indeed a pleasure to bring these guys on. They've been here, for, what's this, your fourth, fifth time now? Fourth time? Third. Oh, yeah. Really, just second time here. Well, you guys seem like old hands at it, and so uh, you do a great job. Well, would you make welcome one more time, Message of Hope from Oklahoma. Like he 
city that looks o'er the valley of death and his glory has never been told where the lamb is the light in the midst of the night in that beautiful city of gold where the sun never sets and the leaves never fade and the just forever will shine like the stars in that beautiful city of gold. There will be no more sorrow, pain, sickness, or death, and the saints, they will never grow old. How I long for that city where there never comes a night in that beautiful city of gold. The sun never sets, and the leaves never fade, and the righteous forever will shine like the stars in that beautiful city of gold, where the sun never sets, and the leaves never fade. Just forever will shine like the stars in that beautiful city of
next song that we have is called Sweet By and By. It's an old song, familiar hymn, slightly rearranged, but I enjoy this song very much and it uh, takes my mind to heaven. It, uh, I, hope, I hope it does the same thing for you too. Um, some of these old songs, sometimes we get, maybe we get tired of them, but let this song draw you to heaven. I appreciate some of the other songs that we heard tonight. Heaven songs are fun to sing. Make new songs, but keep the old. The one is silver, the other gold. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar. For the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there. In the sweet, in the sweet by and by, by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. By and by, in the sweet, in the sweet by and by, by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. We shall sing on that beautiful shore the melodious songs of the blessed, and our spirits shall sorrow no more, not a sigh for the blessing of rest. To our bountiful Father above, we will offer a tribute gift of his love and the blessings that have our days in the sweet in the sweet by and by by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore by and by in the sweet in the sweet by and by by and by 
God's true and chosen one. And when he baptized Jesus, there was a sign from above. When the Spirit came down on the wings of love. Wings of love. Ever shining. Carry me home. Carry me home to mansions bright. To mansions bright by the shining throne. Someday soon. Someday soon. Through the clouds above. Through the clouds above. I'll be carried away. I'll be carried away. Shining, carry me home, carry me home.
All right, thank you so much, Message of Hope. Let's give one of their CDs away. 0230, 0230. You guys in the wings, come on, come on up. 0230. Do we have a winner? Six nine. Oh, three, six, nine. We're giving away the, the CD from uh, Message of Hope right now. Oh, three, six, nine. Already, try again. Oh, four, eight, nine. Oh, four, eight, nine. Right there. God bless you. Make sure you get one of their CDs back at the welcome table. All right. We've got, uh, usually we say we're giving a gift basket away. Today it's a gift tub. And you can use that later if you care to. All right, let's draw for this. But there is a lot of goodies. There's probably three or $400 worth of stuff in there if you figure the cost of what the CDs are from the groups and, and all of that. And uh, a lot of good listening, there's a lot of good eating, a lot of, little bit of good drinking there too. So. Here we go. 0281. 0281. Looky there, another close to front row winner. You two guys come on up here. We got to make a spectacle out of this. <laughs> so the last time I was hollering out numbers, he walked out because he didn't want his number called. He was saving it for now. Yes, yes. Well, congratulations. I, can, I cannot Scott. imagine that it worked. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, so glad you were here. I could shake your hand and your names are Scott and Wanda Sensney. Thank you for being here. Enjoy. Yeah, you bet. All right. Real quickly, we're going to um, we're going to recognize some people that have been involved with uh, this event again. And uh, we're just going to go through and name them. And after we get all done with that, then we'll give them a round of applause for what they've been doing. I'd like to recognize Mike and Virginia for being here again this year, even though they were not singing here as a group, but uh, faithfully coming and welcoming the groups, telling them what to do, where to go, and how to, how to do and all that stuff. And so thank you, Mike and Virginia, for, for doing that. They've been um, supporting us, helping us throughout all the 10 events that we're celebrating here tonight. Titus and Sharon. This is Sharon. And Titus is over there. They, they're having a little difficulty right now, as you can tell. There's, there's a little bit of <laughs> distance between them here. Uh, sometime, sometime later tonight, I'd recommend, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Enough of that. Uh, one of the committee members that uh, wasn't able to be here today because of conflict, and that was Phil Gingrich, but uh, he's helped us out the last number of years. And then Tom and Jewel, Tom's in here. And uh, I don't suppose Jewel's up here, but uh, you, you too, huh? No, it's okay. <laughs> Delbert and Rosie, where are you at? Did they come up? They're back there they are. There's Delbert. Rosie, yeah, she's one of the lady singers. Not the men, the lady. Um, and then Justin and Emily. Justin is back there. Emily's probably with the children. Oh, she did. So sorry to hear that. All because of the children. Bless your heart. I mean, anyway. All right. Now, a few other people that, and Dave and Sueta Beachy. Beachy. There he is. 
Where's Suetta? She didn't, she, there you go. <laughs> okay, you, you're excused. <laughs> but anyway, I got it right, they beat you. Thank you. <laughs> and there's no way, no way I can say enough good about the master of sound for these two days. Jordan. Jordan Bender. Jordan came to Kansas and run sound for us there. Did a superb job with what he had to work with and uh, made us sound good in spite of everything else. Thank you, thank you, Jordan, for being here. Jordan's father, Glendon, and he is, is he hiding back? There he is. He's back there too, Glendon. Thanks for your help. James Yoder, thanks for your help back here with mics and all of that with the microphones. They didn't help you, did they? Okay. Uh, thank you. All right. And uh, also there was another photographer walking around here taking pictures. Elliot Mullet, where are you? Th oh, up there, thank you. Thank you very much. And then the live feed engineered by Niall Beachy. Uh, is he one of them kind of guys you can't? Uh, yeah, I saw a hand come up there. And I think, what was there, Daniel helping you and Joel? Uh, yeah, okay, all right, great. And um, Jace took care of the projections up here on the screens. I don't even know where he was at, but a couple of guys running cameras and so forth. My goodness, um, what a production. And then the ushers. And uh, Ben, where are you? He's peeping around the corner somewhere, I'll bet. There he is. Ben, thank you for engineering that, getting them all put together. And I will not ask you to come up here and sing a song, okay? The welcome table, Maynard and Ruth. Are they in here or out there? Maynard, where's your wife? She's still working. What, what else? Yeah, that's, that's Maynard and Ruth. Ruth works, Maynard is there. <laughs> All right. And then the guys that keep this facility in top, tip top shape and are so diligent throughout this event to make sure everything is working right and looking right. Jim Riefsecker, back there. Give him a hand. Okay. Dwayne around? Haven't seen him. Dwayne Bontrager would be another person. If the locals see him, just tell him we said thank you for taking care of us so well. And I'd like to recognize the food court youth groups that took care of the main food and also the dessert, bar, coffee, tea, and all that. Superb job that they did with that. And then there's a person that you've seen running around here, walking around here. She's not very tall, but she was carrying a basket with cleaning equipment, cleaning tools. Where's she at? Is she, is she right there? Come on in here, young lady. There she is, Rosie Miller. Wonderful, wonderful job. She has been doing double, triple, quadruple duty because she couldn't get enough people to help, and we'll go through that later, I guess, maybe, but that's okay. There you go. Now, one more thing. They're, they are saying there's lots of food left, so please, when we get done here, feel free to go over there. They've got complete pies to sell and um, whatever else. You guys gonna take the cheesecake? You gotta buy it. You got more Dutch in you than I thought, but anyway. <laughs> so yeah, um, make sure you avail yourself to the food. Given everybody in the, in the lineup here that I just mentioned, give them a big round of applause. Let me 
just quickly tell you a few things about the last 10 years. It's not a lot of important things, but it's just kind of a little bit interesting, I guess. We started in 2011 at Fairhaven Mennonite Church up the road here. And uh, I'll never forget that, of course, as long as I live. But it was one of those things, will they come, will they come, will they come? And, um, and I don't know, um, Daryl Souter, if you're watching the live feed, this is for you, I guess. But, but they, uh, New Freedom Quartet from Canada, um, Daryl's kind of the head guy that he was. They've disbanded since. It was too much for him, I guess. We were, I don't know what we did, but anyway, they were the first group on the stage at the 2011 Acapella Gospel Sing up here at Fairhaven. And I'll never forget that. Brought them on, they started singing, and I walked along the side back to the back of the church and looked around a little bit, and there was no empty seats anywhere. I lost it. I couldn't believe it. Anyway, I think Dave was standing back there, and I walked up to Dave, and Dave said, Ray, what do you think? I couldn't think. <laughs> but anyway, then people started filling up the foyer and into the food court. And later we would see people coming through the front door, look around, turn around, and leave. And we knew we had to do something. So we came here. And this has been great and grand. So anyway, more room. New Freedom was the first quartet on stage. The last one so far was Message of Hope. You like to be last? Anyway. I don't know, uh, I thought about playing a little guessing game, but that could go on for a long time here, so we're not gonna do that. Let me tell you just a little bit who all, or not who all, but what all has been here. We have had 25 different quartets on stage in the last 10 years, or the 10 year, 10 events, whatever you wanna, seven different families, eight different groups. Now, what do I call a group? Anything that's over a quartet becomes a group in my little measly way of thinking. So, so like his harmony is, is, a, is a group, the ladies are a group, and, and uh, then we've had three different trios here. We've had one soloist, which was John Stolzfus, which I told you about earlier today. A total of 44 different performing groups, quartets, whatever. A total of 44 different ones. I should have gone through and, and just checked off how many are no longer active, but uh, the vast majority are still active. And uh, so I'm very, very grateful for that. So to you groups, thank you. Thank you so much for your participation and, and the fact that we can consider you our friends and our acquaintances and love you. And um, yeah, God bless you so much for your commitment to the event. All right, I think we'd like to do a couple of songs here yet and then um, I think we're about winding it down. So anybody, everybody see a new song copy here? Those of you that have mics, if you're kind of scattered through the group, it would be kind of helpful and maybe just kind of pick them up a little bit. So, yes, Aaron. Is it a, is it a him or her? Oh, those take care of all of that? The oh, I apologize. That should have been rolling. Let's just take a little bit of time. It doesn't take very long. I'll roll the PowerPoint, and there's some, ex there's some neat little pictures. You guys might want to take a look at yourself here. Um, you might, yeah. I apologize, I, there we go. Oh, I remember that trio so well. The lady in the middle passed away from cancer. Some of the previous books. Some of the last ones. There they are, Followers Quartet, the very first one, there they are. That's not Followers. That is not follow. that was New Freedom. Somebody labeled that wrong, because that was Daryl Souter, I think. Higher Ground Quartet from Virginia, right? Am I right? Yeah, yeah. 
Harmony 5. And then the, their children. Oh, there's an interesting one. Local guys there, the second from the left, David Lee Miller passed away from a stroke. I remember that occasion, the Smucker family. That was at Fairview the first year, right there. And then somebody got the bright idea to sell seats. That was a good thing. Nina Sitzman family was here. Circle of friends. And one of those gals walked away with one of our singers. <laughs> they were from Iowa and he was from Virginia. Joy Square. Who that? <laughs> bought a couple, bought a couple. <laughs> By the way, he was here one or two years, one year I think, maybe. New Freedom Voices, those were children of the uh, uh, New Freedom Quartet. That's Clinton. Oh, Harmony. All right. There's higher ground. Good old Jared. There's the three full chord singers. Paul Mayers. They were supposed to be here this year, but one of their guys had some physical problems and Surgery, I think, and couldn't make it. Proclaim. Who did? <laughs> Graceful. Wow, what a change you have made. <laughs> Set apart with another quartet, next quartet. Oh, yeah. I love them rust-colored shirts. No, <laughs> One by Grace was another good group. Men, young guys. Set free. Arbor Lights, family. Crosswalk, family graceful. That's just a couple of years ago. <laughs> Winners of the baskets, look at there. Testify. Our secretary, former secretary, Megan, and her husband, Josh. Harmony Three, the girls from Canada, some from back in the U.S. now. Acapella Harmony. There's one that we hated to lose, but uh, they have disbanded. Manual Quartet. There he is, the master himself. Ushers. See, that time you did it, Ben, what? No Schwander family. Johnny, bless his heart. Boy, when he sang, he had to put it all into it. Live quintet. The Della Granges. Followers from Canada, I think they're still going, aren't they? Still singing? No, they're not singing anymore. Oh, okay. Nathan Overhold family. Surrender. What about surrender? Do you know anything about surrender? Are they still going? Really? Good. Chords of praise. I wonder if they're still singing. <laughs> Shalom. We know they are. Tristan Martin, he was 
He was just this young 15-year-old tenor singer the first year in 2011. Man, could he sing tenor. Amazing, amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much for doing that. Thank you, Dave, for putting that together. I'm sorry we almost missed it there. All right, a new song. Remember, no slur at the end of the first two stanzas.
Choir mics are on too, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Everybody? <coughs> Spotted. Okay. Oops, that didn't work out too well.
failed. Come, come over here, Linford. I failed. Uh, you've heard me talk about the man who, who said there's only one way to find out whether this will work or not. And this is the man right here. I'm gonna, I just want him to share a few words. I don't know what, whether you've got anything to say, but. <laughs> was that? That wasn't your hearing aid, was it? It wasn't your pacemaker, was it? You're electrifying. <laughs> That's the first. There's another word I would say about you is beauty. Beauty. That's one of the words I really was thinking about a lot of this weekend again. Beautiful. Beauty. The beauty in people and music is one of God's creative outworkings. Beauty. God's the source of this music of of the ability of our voices and the, it's our, our voices are one of the greatest, the greatest instrument. Yes, music takes various forms and there's beauty in various forms of music, but this is one of amazing ways. Just thank you, Ray, and others, of all of you that have orchestrated this. And we thank the Lord most of all. I sense his blessing. And uh, yes, I was, uh, one that enjoyed this very much and was there at the beginning, but I felt like there were some other commitments, so I did back away. But me and Ray were there at the beginning, and uh, praise God for it. I, uh, find many emotions when I'm here and sitting out here. Sometimes I feel like weeping. Next time I feel like shouting. Then there is worship. All a mixture. It's wonderful. God bless you. If any of you would like to share a testimony, we'd quick give you some time for that. Just something maybe that you've experienced in being here. Anybody want to do that? There's not a bashful one in the bunch, I know that. <laughs> but boy, all of us. just say that God is a God that cares about little things. We prayed this morning as a group that my voice would hold out for the day, and he answered that prayer. I would get these little tickle fits, as I call them, where I have to cough a few times and drink a bit of water and suck a throat lozenger, and in about three minutes, the tickle goes away. I just experienced one of those while Ray was talking, so thank you for for holding out that long ray to allow me to get past that one, but uh, I don't know when they'll come. There's something going on in my throat right now, but God cares. God allowed my voice to hold out. I want to praise you. Amen. I think we experience that often, that God somehow had a way, and I know sometimes for me personally, it happened when we got out on the stage. I can't do this. I don't think it's going to work, but it did. Marvelous, marvelous God we serve. Yes, got a mic? <coughs> Number 10? Yeah, it was just a blessing to be here uh, again this year. And um, the song that we sang as a family, Nothing Ever Can and Nothing Ever Will Overcome the Lord Our God. And um, I'm excited tonight because... There is an opportunity for each one of us to be on the Lord's side. And with that, there is nothing that we will face, that we have faced or that we will face, that we cannot overcome with God's power. And I challenge you tonight, it is something that we say more often than we believe in. And um, take that home. And chew on it 
Ask God to show you his power. He will, and you will know when it is God's power. Thank you for that. As all of you up here on the stage already know that um, my mind is feeble, and uh, I forget a lot of things, and um, one of the things that I have completely forgotten is I was going to just tell Anchor to please come up and join us here for this final part. <coughs> I am so sorry. We'd have loved to have you up here and be a part of us. And then uh, maybe that all of a sudden that thing would lift and sing a song yet yeah, for us. Yes, sir. This is totally unrehearsed and, and uh, wasn't part of the program. But I'm sitting back here really blessed because one of the reasons is this is my home church. 20 years ago, I was on a committee debating on whether we want to make this kind of an investment for this facility. And we went ahead with it. And our prayer at that time was that our, the hinges on our doors would be worn out, that the carpet would be worn out, that this church would be used in all manners in this community. Look what's happened in the last 10 years. We have been blessed at Wind Frame to host this event and we hope to keep coming back. And uh, thank you for using this facility. This is part of our answer that we uh, struggled with 20 years ago. Thank you. Well, God bless you for saying that. Isn't that amazing? Thank you. Thank you very much. What a, what a joy that is to know that God was working even before we started using this. He knew. He knew, didn't he? Anybody else here quickly? Get to your feet. <coughs> We're going to do the Mennonite anthem yet. You Texas guys, I don't know if you'll know this one or you our God, he is alive. Do you know that? I knew you would claim that. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah, you know the guy. Oh, well. There we go. Our God, he is alive. Let's do uh, one and let's see. How does the last one start? Se uh, secure is the next to the last one. Do you like it? It was a long time ago. The God, his voice, the prophets are... Oh my goodness, somebody, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. <laughs> uh, now I've got, to, I've got to do it right. 